Can you hear me? Ah, <sighs> loud and clear. Whoever you are. Good, it worked. My name is Somi. Just call me Samba, though. I know who you are. Know your situation, your problem. And I can save your life. <laughs> Oh, very funny. Is this a prank? Not in the mood, if so. It's anything but. You must have questions, and I'll answer them in due course, shortly. But first, I need you to get to that swollen appendix of Night City called Dogtown. Dogtown? Chunk of Pacifica? Ex-territorial? Lord of the Land's one Kurt Hansen, international arms dealer. Corpos give it a wide berth. I skip anything? Nope. More or less on the button. Fine. No clue what I'm stepping into, but no risk, no reward. Thank you. I appreciate this, truly. Dogtown's main gate. Be there as soon as you can. I'll make contact again then. <sighs> this is one elaborate haze. Or a fucking lifeline. Leave me alone! Uh. Attention, we got disturbance in Haywood. Kids causing trouble again? Okay, on our way. or something? Yeah. Feet on the side. What you got in the back? The usual. Implant boxes, Zeta Tech. Headed for the Longshore stacks. Yeah, where else? They come empty, leave full. <laughs> Whole city be drowning in fakes, huh? Look, I'm just a chum driving boxes around. This is Kurt Hansen. You are now in Dogtown. Rule one, no MCPD. Badges will get a bullet to the brain. Rule two, so, no I force. Kind of in a hurry. You're just not welcome. So what? Rule three, my people keep the peace in the districts and ensure its security. Can you just fuck off already? Are the law. Huh. Follow the rules or face the consequences. Oh, what the? Oh, God, 
like someone shoved my head in the place. Ah! You're gonna be okay. Breathe deep. Count to ten. Recite a mantra. Whatever brings calm helps you stabilize. Your nervous system took a big hit. Broke down. Racing heart. Cold sweat. It'll pass. What you doing? This a trap? Exact opposite. It's a helping hand. Right. I know about the bomb ticking in your head. If I could disarm it now, I would in a heartbeat. You'll feel better any second now. V something stinks here. Think she's she's fucking with the relic. How in the all true, Johnny. But don't you fret. They're both safe. Nah, fuck both off. Both of us on the biochip protocol at once can trigger shocks for V, like you just saw now. Gotta cut you off. What? For your safety, for V's safety. Oh. Had to mute him for now. He hears you fine, just can't talk back. You a construct? Like Johnny? No, V. I'm a netrunner. Off on the Relic's cognitive protocol to dial in. I see and hear what you do. Just now, I'm on board Space Force One, sitting right across from Rosalind Myers, President of the New United States of America. The President? Fuck. I... No, you're not joking. Dead serious, yes. The plane's been hacked. Trajectory set for Night City. They'll bring us down to Dogtown soon. Our comms are down, most likely jammed. The Relic was my only option. Right now, you're our one contact on the ground. Plane got hacked, right? You're a runner. Can't override? I could. All I need is 24 hours, the right setup, and a bottomless pot of coffee. None of that's available just now. Telling me the in-U.S. President, Rosalind Myers, is there with you? Sitting right across from me. She knows the situation. Waiting for your yes. How do I help? And how much time we got? Too little to avoid landing in Dogtown. Likely enough to minimize losses, save some folks. That's where you come in, V. The President's life, her safety, that's your top priority. She'll survive the landing. Dogtown, not so sure. You'll need to get her out of the plane before anyone else does. Anyone else? Specifically? Meaning, you expecting company? Kurt Hansen, Dogtown's Commander-in-Chief. Man's got a thousand and one reasons to want Myers as a hostage. He couldn't have netjacked the plane on his own. Meaning Washington's got a mole problem. That one only saw them later. Said you could help me. That the plain truth? Just got a taste of my abilities, I believe. There's more. I can cure you. Once and for all. Can't know how much I'd really love to believe you, but... I know, V. You've hit a dead end. Nowhere to turn. Been there. Believe me, consider this, uh, an advance. Your relic's crowded with clusters of corrupted data. I'm done with that, making room for stuff that'll actually be handy. Such as? Some pre militech combat stuff. It's just lying around, gathering dust. Militech firmware. <laughs> my, my. Solid soft. Well, a cushy government gig like mine just comes with all kinds of perks. Now listen. What I gave you is the skeleton soft. 
But the firmware's fancy. It'll learn, grow with you. It'll improve if you feed it data. Combat analyses, logs of legendary ops, shit that make the NCPD piss its boots. Look around Dogtown. Gotta get there first. Main entrance is a no-go. You don't have an entry pass and I don't have time to produce a fake. You'll slip in the back way, quiet as you can. We really don't need anyone spotting you, scanning you. Guess so. After you. I'll be right beside you, as much as I can. Garage. There, past the fence. See it? Smugglers used to use it. Now it's your turn. Try to sneak in. Maybe distract the guards. I don't know. Something. When you go, look for a net access point. Jack in that, and I'll be able to help you. You should be one level lower. Eyes peeled. Look for a way down. Now, look for a maintenance room. Bet anything you'll find a power source inside. Nice feet. Exactly what we need. Hey, we're up. Perfect. Bridging systems now. Hmm. Ancient. No, proto ancient protocols. Largely corrupted data. Give me a sec. Need to ping one of our sats. Let's see which active Dogtown network links to this infrastructure. And putting in a back door. 
Ready to roll. Hop on the platform. I'll guide you to the garage from there. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, Relic Act first, then you slap the muzzle on Johnny, and now you bring some pile of scrap metal back to life. Serious trickery. Oh, who taught you? B, I'm an NUS intelligence analyst. Trained under the best peeps in the biz. And they took me on because around age 13, I got the local Ripper to sell me a beat-up old deck. Rarely left the next since. I got noticed. The rest is history. I got a feeling story's incomplete. Likely longer, more twisted. Mm -hmm. Might be. Apologize up front for the quarry, but I gotta ask. Compeki Plaza Heist. Why? Had a friend. We worked together. Gig was important to him. And he, uh... He was important to you. He didn't make it. He did not. What the? You alive? Think so. By the way, must have gotten old by now. Calling a faded rocker boy around strikes me as tiring. V? President Myers wishes you the best of luck. Nice. Uh, tell Madam President I said, uh, hey. He got it. I laid out the details of our plan. Typical Rosalind. Keep me apprised, she says calmly. Just sitting there, sipping her gin, looking through her agenda, postponing meets. Woman's unshakable. is the city side metro, huh? Reminds me of when I was starting out. I'd look for places like this. Set up a power bypass, jack in. Essentially steal my way onto the net. 
Grab the riskiest gigs I could find. Learn them as I went. The hard way, usually. But sometimes, a few times, I really pulled off coups. Anything I'd find on ABS gossip feeds. Hmm. Biotechnica in 63 or 4. Fermentation facility in Oregon. Off the grid house. Sound familiar? No shit, that was you? Only the best reached that high. Talking Spider Murphy, Bart Moss, Songbird? Nah. Nick's not setting off buzzers. If I'd wanted fame, I'd have gone rocker to Smuggler's paradise. Nice bustling den. the guards showed up to secure the place. Cast their bustling somewhere else now. Elevator. Hop in. I'll do the rest. You'll be in Dogtown in a minute. Try to steer clear of Hansen's goons. Speaking of Kurt Hansen, what else do you know about him? Hansen was an officer. Militech. Tail end of the Unification War, his unit was tasked with taking Main City. They managed to secure a foothold in the southmost pocket and... stuck around. Refused to demobilize, laid down their weapons, found in Dogtown instead. Traded one conflict for another, basically. Hot or cold, no better way to make a buck than war. the stairs through storage. You should pop into the market. Get your ammo, assault rifles, tactical gear. Hmm, to tame? Cream collection. It ain't scared something'll go off on its own. Object and all. Feedback loop, cohesive connections, and all that. Chill. All of these are your peripheries. Not afraid of an overload? <laughs> Me? Uh, afraid? No. No, no, no way. Uh, maybe. Fucking 
Anywho, uh, don't, don't want the deer to get cold now, do we? Hey, check out this bad boy. Rostovich, DB2 Satara. The word is, this cube named Brick owned it. Where'd you get that piece? Hey, a good deal never reveals their sources. I'm all about the lost, the found, and the kinky. Make all your lethal dreams come true. This is Kurt Hansen. If you're hearing this, you've come to the right place. NCPD, gang wars, not in Dogtown. Taxes, who the fuck needs them? In Dogtown, I keep your business as long as you abide by my rules. I'd like to use your services. Looking for some preem threads. Then you're in the right place. Her sister got back west from Belgium with her youngins. Their house got flooded. Lost everything they had. No, 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 wait. This ain't what it looks like. V, um, been meaning to ask. How bad is it for you? What's it look like? Here I am doing some mystery runner's bidding, chasing down the NUS Prez in NC's meanest corner. All oh, because I caught a whiff of hope. And I know, it means I'm either crazy or desperate, right? Wrong, V. It means you have the guts to keep going. It's hard, I sense that. But you're fighting, in spite of it all. Nice to hear. Hope you're right. Shut up. We're in this together. There is that. Won't regret it, I guarantee you. Turns out I will be staying at the stadium after all. Fuck, dog. Think Hansen's personal protection takes five minutes and a handshake to lock down? Shake the... They asked to just say we were diving at Seapoint. Who's gonna check? All right. Time we got up on the roof. The hell for? For the view. And I'm not being coy here. I mean, you'll see where we land, literally. Take me out there. Shit! Whew. 
closed circuit. I've lost access. What now? Try and restart the generator. You upset or something? I detest wrinkles like this. When things don't go as planned. Yeah, forget about it. Chunk upon junk here. Finally, pop in. Elevator's roofbound. FYI, we're about to cross into Night City airspace. Might be a bit of a shock. Braced for it? And, uh, whatever comes next? Not sure one can ever be ready for a force landing. In Dogtown, of all places. But having you means my chances are looking up. You made it. Good. How's the sitch on board? Stable, but tensions rising. Unsurprisingly. See that? It's us. Space Force One. We're descending. And for a rough... Oh, fuck. What? What's going on? <laughs> Songbird, thought you might have... Fuck. Yeah, I know, I know. Songbird the cat. Life number nine commenced. Alas. I made sure to get Myers to the safe room before I ejected. Run to the wreckage fee. Save her. Right. On my way. Just be careful. Hanson said his goons. You need to hurry. What then? Got a plan? Find Myers, get her to Liz Crest Street. It'll be the safest spot in Dogtown right now. Right. I'll be in touch. Bye, right. boys.
quick. Fuel tank's insulated. It won't explode. See anything? A whole lot of wrecked aircraft. Anyone alive? Nobody jumping out to greet me. Shit! Are we too late? Deep breaths. Nothing's for sure. Let me scan around. Keep moving back. You'll see a safe room. I'll pop the release on the door. If I do, you'll calm down? It depends who you are. Relax! Songbird sent me. And you are? Name's V. Apologies. I had to be sure it was really you. Great. Let's Delta. <laughs> Fucking hell. Ugh, damn it! They just won't let up! Now listen, head for the vacant building on- Elizabeth Cress. Got it. <coughs> Give me some credit. It's the best place to lay low. No heat signatures, so it's empty. Not a soul inside. Now get moving. Got Songbird on comms. She's fine. Found us a safe house nearby, too. Songbird. I'd started to worry. 
I suppose I forgot she always lands on her feet. That crazy look, both of you. Huh. Maybe you brought it with you. This is some fucking nightmare. My people dead. All of them. Because of me. Nightmare, sure. So wake up. Look alive! As if it were that easy. You have no idea how deep this goes. We were hacked. It means Hansen had help. From Washington. The NUS government is aware of the crash, no doubt. They'll have sat mapped it, seen us hit the ground in Dogtown. Unless... Unless the plot goes deeper. Hansen spreading his agitprop lies as we speak. I'm sure of it. Our people will have an even harder time crossing the border. I can't trust a soul. I just... Fuck! I don't know what to do. Understand your concerns. Don't forget you got me here, though. You? And Songbird. We'll get you out of this mess. Thank you, Faye. We stick to the plan. After that, well, I guess we'll see. Wait a second. Damn it! If Hansen's got someone inside in Washington, that means I'm traceable. Wherever, whenever. I have a subdermal tracker. It needs to go ASAP. It's near an artery that's best not nicked. I'll need your help. I assume you know what you're doing. Be completely on your own without the tracker. Well, you're here. Close your eyes. Think of some asshole you hate. Always helps. Ugh. Ugh. That's a long list. <sighs> Even better. Wait, is that... Drone, finish up, quick. Cover now! Stay that way. We need to get to the top of the building. Talk later. That songbird on comms says we gotta climb higher. Lead the way. It's your city, after all. Kurt's house has caught your scent. You need to move. Delta time. Let's go. We'll ask our guardian angel if she can get this elevator moving. 
Elevator could use a runner's touch, Song. Already on it. Uh-huh. Sorry, V. My magic's no good here. What we need's power. There's a maintenance shaft with a fuse box nearby. Follow the scaffolding. Says I need to turn the lights back on. Might take a minute. Fine. I'll keep my head down. Oh, I wouldn't mind meeting your Ripper, Doc. Think it'll work? Lousy place to get stuck. Just one way to find out. What's the probability a random passerby noticed a moving elevator in an abandoned hotel? <sighs> right. Leave the analytics to Songbird. Little fuckers are fidgety. Sharp sensors on those. If they've sensed us already, the place will be swarming in no time. Great reason to move on and keep moving. My thoughts exactly. And mine. Just stay calm and keep quiet. Position. Something best avoided. Restaurant. Subnet access point in there. If you jack in, I can inject some fake hostile readings. Send the drones chasing after geese. Doable. I think we'd do best to sneak past them. Where the hell they get iron like that? 
detecting multiple patrol sinks, V. Stay on your toes. Uh, all right. Sink to a radio frequency. Hear me okay? Loud and clear, so me. Would you care to tell me what the fuck is going on? We have a plan we need to stick to. Elizabeth Crest Street. That's where you need to go. The streets are too hot, so you'll need to go underground. Like, literally? You'll take old metro tunnels. Find the nearest station to be in the band next to the hall. Got it. Scumbags won't run up. Lose them before accessing the garage. Alert. Fire sighted in Sector 2-1. Investigate, now. <sighs> that could have gone worse. We better evac. We found them yet? You better have good news for the Colonel. Fuck's sake, we're working on it. Outpost. Let's go around. If they catch us out here, we're dead. Scumbags will blow up. Leave them before accessing the garage. They won't get me! I think we lost them. Still too early for champagne now. Looks clear. Fine. Nice change. Dogtown. What a joke. Did you all nuke this place? You all. First time I'm here. Likewise. And if I never make it back, it'll be too soon. In a museum. <laughs> a museum of wishful thinking. Where the rich bought and sold so many unfulfilled dreams. You been here before? Not quite. The place was built with Militech money. I was supposed to cut the ribbon on opening day. No need to delay. Quiet, I can hear my chrome creak. Feel free to ask her about those exhibits. Really wonder what she'll say. It was an urban renewal effort, designed to curb Arasaka's growing influence. Militech backed most of the projects. So Militech sank money into Dogtown, too? That's not what it was called then, but yes. On paper, urban renewal. Under that cover, military infrastructure development. But abandon all hope of hearing a word of truth. A bright future. With the right financing. But wars scare off investors. Wars don't happen out of the blue. This? No exception. Orders were issued. There's the Russell and Myers I know. Never a shadow of accountability. A gilded monument to a certain someone's bloated ego. <laughs> Takes one to know one. Damn. There's no way around this? 
Songbird, got a sitch. Can you jimmy the door? On it. Oh, the lock jammed. Gotta brute force it, B. Time to roll up your sleeves. No need. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right. Head for the elevator, just across the room. Huh. One of Hansen's warehouses, it seems. Gotta find an elevator, other side of the room. Okay, here goes. V, do you hear that? Shit, bastard's caught up to us again. Songbird? Hey, bad news this time. Hansen's dogs caught your scent. Assault incoming. You probably got spotted outside. Either way, get ready. What now? Got a surprise for our guests. Making the final adjustments now. I will not be surrounded! Over there, over there. You can visit for a second. Need that. Myers, we gotta engage him. Song's on the case. Position! Who's in a shotgun? Answer no, now! Hey, Gertz! Starting to heat up in here, Songbird! Working on it. Hold on tight. Almost there. They're melting at Grover. Bird, what's with you? What the hell is going on, V? Dunno, Song's having a fit or something!
play rough couldn't get rough. You're not dying on me today. <sighs> no. <sighs> Guess not. Right. Good. We take it out? The fall did. About time we caught a break. Can't stay here. Are you mobile? Die already? Ugh. 
Safeguarding the nation, my ass. <sighs> Close call, Matt. <sighs> Good teamwork. Had luck. A pile of luck. Grab what you can, and let's head out. There has to be an exit here, somewhere. What's this? Good stuff. I just hope this won't be a dead end. Songbird said to keep to the tunnels all the way to Elizabeth Crest Street. Any chatter from her? Zero. Dead quiet. Still. Not good. Got a hatch here. Could we jump, maybe? <clears throat> Hold up, V. Let's pause. Think for a sec. What's eating you? I don't like this. Can you try calling so me again? Okay, gonna give it a shot. I need a songbird. Starting to worry us, girl. 
Song, are you there? No answer, though. Guess you got me and only me. Great to see you again, Johnny. Curb the enthusiasm, kid. Never know. Could need me. So? Did you reach her? Nothing. No response. Shit. What happened back there? With so me? Something was off for sure. Could say she got hit with a demon, maybe tripped a defense protocol on the Chimera's ice. Could say? Mm-hmm. If Songbird was a cookie-cutter runner. Both know she's not, though. Damn fucking straight. But who knows? Nah, whole thing was a clusterfuck. You know, knowing that run comes without a burn risk. No. Impossible. Somi's had occasional off moments lately. Temporary slumps. But I'm sure she's headed where we're headed. Same destination she gave us. It's the reasonable thing to do. Right. Reasonable. Girl's gonna have a hell of a hangover. If she wakes up. Hey, you figure that? Because I wound up at the same rave she went to. Felt like I was underwater. Leagues down. Tried to surface, but this suffocating, sucking sound pulled me back in. Then when she lost control of the... Chimera, the water turned into fucking boiling tar. Seems like the sitch spiraled out of control. Amen to that. Though actually, could have been a straight overload. Seen runners caught in those. Shit's ugly. So, can we move on? We're heading southwest now. Feels like we're circling back. Huh? Song mentioned an abandoned building. Place to lie low. No heat sick, so should be relatively safe. I pray you're right, Somi. Could use a little help. Of course. Oh! A damn fork? Well, we didn't account for this. Which way now? Thoughts? Let's try this way. Looks promising. Ugh, it's Satan's balls in here. Should we plug that? Look for a valve. There we go. Looks like a control room. nine times. Believe it? She must have had her ass welded to that seat. Funny how she has her own street in Night City of all places. But... Not now! V, are you? One sec! It'll pass. <clears throat> <clears throat> See? <clears throat> Better already. What's the matter? Are you hurt? Nothing. Really. V, please. I have a highly honed nose for bullshit. Got an... experimental Arasaka biochip in my brain. It's killing me, literally. So me says she might have a solution. Wait. You're talking about the relic. That'd be the one. A secretive tech someone stole from Arasaka. On the day Saburo lost his battle with mortality, no less. Bingo. So that's how she could reach you. That also goes a long way toward explaining the nature of your deal. I appreciate the candor. 
It seems it's all for one and one for all, if we're to survive. Expect in more trouble? Tonight? I expect nothing but. It's best to be prepared for any contingency. Okay, this is us. Eight. Great place for an ambush. Hopefully no one else thinks so. Black. Where are you, Somi? Huh. Guess we got here first. Seems so. We'll have to sit tight. Though I assume we'd rather not sit in the dark. Power would be useful. We could also get the radio up and running. Check this, V. Attempted postmodern art. More like a home cooked generator. Maybe we kickstart it? Literally? Uh-huh. Old Thornton engine, pretty run down. A little bit of chew left, too. If the fuel's not degraded, it could actually run. But can't start it. Not without a power source. Sure, but seeing as we got a lull in the lead pouring down on us. Listen, got a bad vibe about this. You? That makes two of us. Gig's got too many twists and turns. Songbird, S-tier netrunner, promises a panacea, a cure-all, then gets wiped off the map. Myers, shady politico. Got a dagger thrown at her back all the way from Washington. Who by and why? Fuck if we know. Oh. Plus Kurt Hansen and this fucking Sam launcher. Just preem. Got this hot itchy feeling in my groin. Like someone's not fessed up to something. One thing's sure. Plot runs Mariana trench deep. We'll cobble together the full picture. Piece by piece if needed. More like rest in pieces. Us both. Anyway, let's get this power sitch sorted. Fingers crossed. Here goes. And maze balls. Look what I found. What do you say? There's more in the fridge. Feel free. You earned it. Booze? This a good time? Let's see. Today I survived a Delta crash, a district-wide manhunt, and a prototype killer robot. Yes, it's a great fucking time. New luck? Great. Right. Grab a gulp. Booze? 
this a good time? Let's see. Today I... Just earned yourself a vote, Madam President. Are you even registered? Housewarming gift from Songbird, maybe? <sighs> Wouldn't it be wonderful? And circling back to Night City, speculative chatter continues tonight around the downed passenger craft. And U.S. representatives claim President Rosalind Myers was aboard when catastrophe struck. City officials have yet to release any statement. However, one all-too-familiar figure did decide to speak out. Kurt Hansen, the self-proclaimed leader of Dogtown, called a press conference earlier today to offer his take on the situation. I'm being framed. Isn't it obvious? The NUSA's been out for my blood for years. Now I'm not without flaws. But another thing I'm not is suicidal. An attempt on the life of the head of the NUSA? What transpired in Dogtown is no trivial matter. I urge you all to consider the true motives behind this... spectacle. The NUSA will take any excuse it can get to send forces into Dogtown. And will they stop there? <laughs> no. You... Good people of Night City are next in the fucking line. Shit. Mark my Fuck words. This. Troglodyte's clever. Maybe too clever for his own good. Bull to the shit. Nobody's buying that. Oh, they're buying it all right. Reporters even talking to him is the first sign. Night City's public enemy number one, given a full press spread. What a fucking joke. Some mysterious party's out to trigger war. An attempt on my life's a damn good case of spell eye. Gotta let Washington know you're alive ASAP. Ah, call Washington without knowing who'll answer, friend or foe. Or should I go outside? Give Hanson snipers a big thumbs up. No, V. Neither's an option. Hear that? Footsteps. Songbird. Maybe. Can't be sure, though. It's our lucky day, Chumba. A penthouse with a view of the city. And lights that work. Yeah. This doesn't feel right. None never does what you, does it? Fucking killjoy. You want an angle on Hanson's airdrops? You got it. V, we need to eliminate them. Come on, man. Let's have a look around. Wait. Wanna try talking there. first? I hope you know what you're doing. Weapons! Now! What the fuck? I won't say it again. Yo, 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 chill. Just looking for a place to hold up for the night. This one... Back the hell up! That's better. Weapons! Now! What the fuck? I won't say it again. Yo, 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 chill. Just looking for a place to hold up for the night. This one's taken. Clearly. Told you. So I see. This, the uh, presidential suite. Shit. Word is, they a bounty on the head of Rosalind Myers. What are we gonna do about that? Come on, guys. Let's figure something out. We don't want any problems. Iron in my face, say otherwise. This iron will stay silent, so long as you do. Now that's an idea. But our silence ain't come cheap, yeah? Whoa. Pump the brakes, man. Not now, Tay. I was negotiating. Do you remember negotiating with Hanson? What happened? Not now. Jones, for fuck's sake. We're all just trying to survive here. So cool it. Stop talking scop and state your price. One million. Fine. On one condition. You'll help. Lend us miscellaneous support. Hmm. And what's that supposed to look like exactly? There's enough space for four. Should be easy to stay out of each other's way. But if any uninvited guests arrive, we'll be counting on you to stand with us. Seriously? What's there to consider, Chooms? 
chill. You know, just weighing the potential pros and cons. Can you weigh them any fucking slower? You got a deal, Madam Prez. And... Want me a ray feed? Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. Any model in particular? Shit, my ass will fit them all the same. Tell me where you want it parked. Will do. So long as your bodyguard don't slit up. Throats come nighttime. Well, V, do you plan to slit these two gentlemen's throats? It all depends on you, Chooms. Gonna have my eye on you. Likewise, Choom. Well, all fucking right. We got us a deal. I like to celebrate new chooms by tossing back a few, but T and I gots to be sharp. Airdrops come morning. Gotta get up early. Same here. Come on, V. It's been a hell of a long day. Watch the master and learn, T. Watch and learn. You're gonna get us killed one of these days. Maybe. But at least you'll kick it with a smile on your face and your balls in your Looking for someone, Asian American woman, about 30. Seen anyone like that? Well, it doesn't ring a bell. But shit, <laughs> you can't ask you to meet at a bar like a normal chum. You pull the night shift? Well, we could call it my part of the deal. And an old habit from the Badlands. So, you a nomad? I was. Once upon a time. Abandon your family? I betrayed them. I'd rather not get into it. Sup, V? Shoot some shit with me? Then spill it, girl. Working for the press. What's it like? Feds probably pay stacks, yeah? <laughs> I look like I'm from DC to you. <laughs> Fuck if I know. Never been. No, I'm Haywood, born and bred. Darktown native. No plan to leave, neither. Don't intend to take your shiny new Rayfield on a cross-country road trip. Chum, the day I believe a word out of anyone's mouth will be my last. Then why agree to her deal? Cause I's an honorable motherfucker, maybe? Shit, folks gotta live by some kind of code. Anyway, you made a wise choice for an overnight. Safe, out of the way. It's even got work and power. Mentioned airdrops before. What's that about? It's like this. Colonel Hansen runs a big market, but he's landlocked, right? Gotta get his shipments in somehow. Talking iron, ammo, meds, fucking anything. All falling out of the sky and into Kurt's lap. Now, if you know where and when to look, might fall into your lap instead. Feel me? Telling me finders keepers. Clapping from Kurt. It's kid stuff. Trickle down economics, I call it. Mention Kurt Hansen. You and him got some kind of beef? See this junk? Hansen's goons took my organic leg. <sighs> That's tough. Was a conflict of interest. Colonel Dipshit don't appreciate motivated entrepreneurs like myself. Wanted to start a little side biz, yeah? But I forgot all about the registration fee. Now I serve as a warning to the rest. So, one thing I don't get. Building safe, right? So why is it a total ghost town? Right. Well, that's because it's haunted. But don't worry, baby. You safe with me. Jacob. It's true. A lot of peeps died here. Mysterious circumstances, like an aneurysm, each and every one. One time, 12 runners they found, all their brains fried. Hansen closed the house down, banned entry. And the Colonel's word means lots more than some turrets and shit. Folks know to stay away. So what are we still doing here? Cause fuck them, that's what. 
and fuck urban legends. Finally. My legs are killing me. Come on. Still nothing from so me. Radio silence. She's never gone dark this long. Troubling, to say the least. How you feel about our roommates? None too bright. But not entirely useless. And two extra guns could always prove handy. I'm gonna give him that payday, really? Why wouldn't I? They're taking a sizable risk. So, what if Songbird don't show? We need to wait. It's all we can do for now. If she doesn't show, well... Then... I'll have one other option to consider. But let's table it till morning. We should get some rest. Surreal. All of it. What's that? I'd have been home by now. Reading the evening brief, glass of water and two sleeping pills waiting on the night table. Doesn't sound like you miss it much. Hmm. See you in the morning, V. She's not here. I Means she's not coming. You've seen the swarms Hansen has out hunting. I didn't have her. Possibility. One that concerns me the most. I need to find her. You don't leave your people behind enemy lines. Could I still buy that fairy tale bullshit? Whatever happened, we have to help her. Gotta talk back up plan. Not a plan, a man. The kind we need. Solomon Reed's the name. Seven years ago, he headed up our intelligence efforts in Night City. He and Somi were a team. The conflict over, he went into hibernation. So he's out there somewhere. Reed's a man of principle. He can't be swayed, can't be bribed. If there's anyone we can trust now, it's him. Reed guy sounds like an ace up your sleeve. Could have played him already. Activating a sleeper agent is no simple matter. You'll need a dog whistle. A what now? Don't tell him I called it that. It's a signal only Reed will hear. It'll be tricky. Huh. There was a secret comms channel accessed only from a Capitan Caliente nearby. The FIA used it before the war. The access code was... 0931. Got a bad feeling, V. Sounds way overcomplicated. Gotta be an easier way. We'll call the FIA secret agent hotline and dial his extension. No, this is the only way. Mm-hmm. So what'll happen next? Reed will need to screen you. You'll show him this. It means you work for us. What the? A file will be created for you in the FIA database. Wait, back up. Telling me I'm a special agent now? That's right. We're taking the oath make it feel more real. Yeah, no, let's skip the formal thing. Is there a problem? It's just a big commitment, you know? Can't swear to something I don't believe in. It's your choice. I understand this was sudden. Good luck out there, V. And don't let the bastards nab you.
Where's Jacob? Fresh airdrop nearby. Jay went down for a look-see. Hey, made the right call not taking that fascist ass oath. Oh yeah? Some causes are worth pledging your life to, V. This ain't one of them. How'd you come to that? Cause with the biz done, their arm will still be far up your ass and you'll be a meat puppet. No, I was once at Corpo Jarhead, right? Practically dove into uniform head first. They had a real hard on for the oath. Repeat after me, bloody fucking blah. But can't remember what I solemnly pledged to do. Sure you want to talk about this? Gotta hand it to you, V. Wiser than I was back in the day. Well, look who's away. See that crazy color smoke? Yep, wham bam. One of Hanson's cargo drops, no doubt. She all yours. I sure as shit ain't making that climb. Well, thanks for the heads up. Maybe I'll take a look. Sure thing. What's your link to this area? This is Pacifica's bumping, thumping business heart, where the real deals are done. So, we finally get to meet in person? I can say neither yes nor no. In lieu of an answer, I... I've new work for you. I hope you'll accept. One last thing. How you breach Dogtown's border, I'm not certain. Though I suspect not via the main gate. Irrelevant in any case. I've secured clearance for your future convenience. Your name and likeness now registered in the system. Granting unfettered passage over the district. Call you back. Now we can talk. Go ahead. Sorry, really gotta go. Okay, you were saying? Talk again soon.
Zone behind and uh Tano go go plant sink corn.
call this a pro- V, you scan this motherfucker? Gonked again. Prime looking, but useless. At least with you, it's the other way around. Wait, what? Ah, <laughs> relax. Just teasing, man. Anyway, come on. If I wanted my dick wet, I wouldn't stand out in the rain. You always toss barbs at peeps trying to do you a favor? <laughs> I like to check my peeps. Check their egos, that is. Give it to me straight, Cap. The wheels. What's your scheme? Got a need for speed, huh? Yeah, me too. But first, I'm not gonna haze you. The car you brought's looking a little worse for wear. Every scratch is a loss, you feel me? Two, I'm selling them. Three, Dogtown's full of chances, and chances are what I like. Four, you called it a scheme? Man, I prefer to call it a, a creative license. Right. What's this? creative endeavor need from me. Gonna need you ready to grab some easy aids. Listen, I got like a gift. A sixth sense. I can tell when a ride's bored. Needs a change of hands. Sometimes I hear him calling over in Dogtown. Sometimes in Night City. Right, and this sixth sense tells you to tell me to bring him to this chop shop? Oh, chop shop. Uh, please. But yeah, you rein in the wheels, you rake in the heads. Of course, it's all part of a larger plan. Well, well. Picked up a tail, huh? No, I don't think so. Relax, we're in my hood. Let's see what they want. NCPD, asshole. You got a license and a ridge for them ugly mugs? I don't fucking believe this. Daniels, the fuck, man? You take a fucking squad car to pick up a clipped ride in uniform? Not the only one on his home turf, mama. Hey, Nabaville Fort Alvarado for the top brass, too. I'll get the gear for our little plan. Hold the phone. El Cap handing out bribes? I'm shocked. Shocked. There an honest cop left in this city? There is, but they lay low. Don't got that fire in the eyes, you know? Prim, thanks for the cred. Cars, deets, and docks are on their way. You see? It's just biz. Come on, rain stopped. Okay, you just met one of our clients. So? In on the gig? Always driving somewhere. Might as well pick up some scratch on the way. You gonna make it worth my while? Come on, man. With El Capitan, your future's looking bright. I fix you your gigs, your fancy payouts, nothing but upsides. Counting on it. Sure, sure. Let's see what tomorrow brings. El Capitan will be in contact.
Ain't nothing without your help. Check out Ronald's Cream Stems. Bad prices in Dogtown. Certified. Hello. Sales. Capitan Caliente. Guy clearly went down with this place. Stash house by the looks of it. Right. Let's see what's here.
the cores. Shop local. Shop with Antique. Junky variety. Wonder if it even works. Hmm. Huh. Oh, come on. Answer. I'll have a double cheeseburger while you're at it. Uh, anyone there? Hello? Fossil's probably busted. Or you flopped the number. What the fuck do we do now? Who is this? Call me V. Andrew Jackson, basketball court. Daytime. Noted. 
Not exactly loquacious, our man of mystery. Could just prefer text. Damn sure I do. Get your fresh clip shards here! Seats in the house. Gonna be a game to remember. Johnny Silverhand, a basketball fan. That's new. You know what I mean. What? Another game starting. One where your head's the fucking ball. My input loves it. He always said we could use another. About the same thing. Something nasty's brewing. Fucking storms, what's brewing? Don't let the sunshine fool you. You're up against seasoned players, whereas you just stumbled onto the court. These are trained sociopaths. Pretend to be your friends while they fucking ain't. So go out and play. Just don't get played. Just come out and say it. You don't trust Myers. No, her type is all. Politicians. Worse, armed forces. Saying no to high-ranking cunts like putting your mouth over the barrel of their gun. Get shitty fast if you try to run. Take it from a deserter. Never told me about that. Nothing to be proud of. <sighs> Tore out that chapter. Crumpled it, swallowed it. Our sitch hairballed it back up. One thing I did learn, caked in blood and mud. What was that? After every carrot comes the stick. Allow me to illustrate. Every grunt gets a rifle, flak jacket, and a bunch of promises. Comes a time you're out of ammo, Kevlar's tattered cardboard. And what's left of the promises? Fuck all, I'm guessing. Exactly. And that's when they reach for the stick they call values. Getting shelled in your dugout, tombs are taking refreshing phosphorus showers, and some officers ranting about loyalty and duty. The moment you stop shitting carrots and they wave the value stick, fucking run, rabbit. Run. Sounds like you got some shit to work through. Gotta face your demons sometime, Johnny. Didn't actually have a problem with them. Till now. Politicians, military runners, intelligence operatives, and Colonel Hansen for dessert. All the rotten fish in one fucking barrel, this dog town. Don't turn around. Eyes on the court. <laughs> Hans, what you holding? I see you holding something. Johnny. Show me. Who the hell's breathing down my neck? How the fuck should I know? Only see what you see. I see you holding something. Show me. Got this token? Mean anything to you? But I need to make sure. Keeps his cards close, this one. Who sent you? Rosalind. I don't know any Rosalind. And neither do you. Got a pro spy here, V. Is she safe? Hard to say. The longer we sit here. That's it. Dribble around him. 
Were you followed? Did you even bother to check? Take me for a fucking gonk? An amateur? You sure fooled me. But fine. that I have to do. Black Thornton Merrimack. Illustrated. Three minutes. Front seat. That it? Interrogation over? Already was starting to have fun. Reese? Slippery <laughs> motherfucker. I think we really hit it off. Sure. Betty's got candy in that van. He's ready to find out. Hey, you see that guy I was talking to a millisecond ago? Big guy? Coke looking like he's planning on flashing some kids, huh? Hey, shut it or get lost. With the right guns and stalled man, I'm going to duck and even hard. Black Thornton. Before we go, apologies for the precautions. I only ever rest so much. Sometimes it's just safer to shove the barrel of a Malorian between a Troon's ribs, even if he is on your side. It's nothing personal. No hard feelings, I hope. No. No hard feelings. It's all good. Had to make sure. I'd have done the same. Is that so? You're not in the biz, V. Our biz. Actually, I am, though. Just since yesterday. I was about to say your first time's out are the hardest, but... I'm not gonna lie. I combed FIA data for info about you. Interesting profile. Freelance Merc. You were born in NC. Haywood. To make things more interesting, FIA agent. You received your commission last night. One thing eludes me. What drove you to get entangled in this mess? I guess I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Yeah, I feel you. I get tasked with correcting someone else's mistakes. I do my own wrapping. Right. It's time we paid our friend in distress a visit. Address, please. Abandoned building on Crest Street, 8th floor. You left her alone? In Dogtown? Was I supposed to drag her along while cruising around? Actually... Look, place seemed plenty safe to me. Safe? A derelict building in Dogtown. Just listen to how that sounds. Hold up. I need to take this. Why are you calling me on my day off? Last I heard, you're the manager. Ask Bob, he owes me a favor anyway. Yeah, well, tough nuts. You'd have to manage without me. Boss, man. I work the door at a club. Selection, you know, bouncing. FIA special agent. Bouncing away time at a club. The job attracts ex-cops and commandos, too. I know a few. They're a tough bunch. Trouble. Easy to blend in with over beers. We have company. It's so bad. Damn it! Hatches goons! 
Here we go. me off a metro cam feed. Did our damnedest to stay off the streets. If so, good idea, poor execution. Is hoping we're not too late. Fucking cream. Follow close behind. That's it, Gangos. Must have spotted you. Tracks you left. We need to take those fools down and hope we're not too late. Some things never change. What? Wherever she goes, people get hurt. Bodies drop. Oh, shit. Should have wiped those camera recordings. My bad. A mistake. Happens to everyone. Let's hope we can correct it. If anyone had tried to extract her forcibly, this whole level would be in shambles. No way she would have gone quietly. Take... Come on, open it. Open up. It's me. Is this how you greet me? Uh... Sorry. Roslyn, are you alright? I'm fine. But I heard shots. Jacob and Taylor. They tried to defend. We arrived too late. Shit. I... Oh. 
Hmm. You remembered my number. Some numbers you never forget. Never with me, Roslyn. You never intended to call that line. Well, I found myself in Night City with a bounty on my head. So it seemed the right moment to reach out, have a tete-a-tete, -tete, reset an old friendship. I'd offer to sit down and chat over coffee, but the clock's ticking. I need to arrange a passage for you to Washington. No, Reed. We need to talk first, all three of us. Here. The President, a merc, and a special agent walk into the Oval Office. Question is, where do I fit into this joke? You've seen the news. Uh-huh. Hansen's spin work never fails to amuse. He's not acting purely on his own initiative. Someone from our camp's propping him up. Hansen, any idea who he's in bed with? Rosalind has more enemies than you can count. This shit runs deeper, Reed. I wasn't alone on that flight. Songbird was on board, too. So me. I had a bad feeling about this. But now... Now I see why. Where is she now? V was the last person to talk to her. Most likely scenario? Got caught in some ice on the combat bot when she hacked it. One little mishack. Happens even to the best. But... No way to know for sure. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we need hard evidence, not speculation. Reed, I needn't remind you what this means for the NUS's national security. Besides, she's your prodigy, Saul. You taught her all your tricks. Hell, even recruited her. She and V have a unique... Uh, bond. It's a lead. Our only one for now. You two have to find her. Together. I already died for the cause once. Not enough? What do you mean you died already? What has my eyes told you about me? Said you'd let an intelligence cell here. Went into hibernation at war's end. So she omitted the fact that Arisak could try to smoke me. <clears throat> and that I ended up in intensive care with three bullet holes. That six months had passed before I could take a shit on my own. Might have... slipped her mind. Convenient. Well, now you know. Every moment we spend pouting here... Our chances of finding Somi alive drop. Hard. Barely know you, but you don't seem like a Chum who would leave their agent out to dry. She won't survive without backup. Don't know me well, but well enough, I guess. I wouldn't. I'm here. I'll help. But I'm doing it for Somi. And my country. Call me naive if you like. And you, V, whatever bond you two have fails to explain why you're here in the first place. I don't know how much they're paying, but you better ask yourself, is it worth it? Something's more important than Eddie's, Reed. That, we agree on. We all got our reasons. Mine's even got a name. The Relic. If I don't find so me, I'm literally a dead woman. Seems we're all on the same page now, V. Which means we can help each other, too. Agreed. Think so, too, Reed. If we want to find Somi, we gotta dig deep. I mean, actual reconnaissance. No stone unturned. We need contacts, informers not afraid to sing, who might see something in it for themselves. You'll need to earn their trust. That big ask in Dogtown. Won't be easy. 
I need to arrange a safe passage to Washington for Myers. Expect my call soon, V. Thanks. For everything. Buy me a nice dinner sometime. Ha. <laughs> you do this often? Invite presidents out on dates? Often enough. Okay. Dinner it'll be. Just gotta survive till then. All right, I need to make some calls. It's me. I need a cab. Two people. Long ride. No, no papers. Not this time. Yeah, Dogtown. Waterfront. Usual spot. Thanks. Done. We should leave. Best if we weren't together. V, you'll go five minutes after we do. Good luck, V. So how do we get out of this little corner of town? Let's just say it's a bumpy ride. Right, right?
Another overnight delivery. Who's there? Yes. Ah. What the worry you want? Oh! <laughs> 
some holes in her.
answered. I could probably use your help. Probably. Fine. I could really use your help. Can we meet? Deep breaths, Anna. Tell me what's going on. Do you remember Saul? The leader of the clan I left? Mm-hmm. Had a fallen out or something? Doesn't matter right now. He... They nabbed him. This is just not suitable for a call, me. Just tell me when and where. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Swing by the Aldecaldos camp. I'll explain it all. The Aldecaldos? Thought you parted ways. Oh, look, it's a long story. Just hurry over. I'm here.
in town. What's your status? My status? No real changes, I suppose. Then it's time we got down to work. Gotta find our missing friend. Had another pair of eyes. Alex, former team member. She's in Dogtown, under deep cover. She'll help out. Adding another cook to the kitchen. Pretty crowded already. I trust Alex. Longshore stacks, the dive bar called the Moth. After sundown, yeah? Got it. The sense is trained on any potential shadows. Okay, let's see what you can do for me. Just hope I won't regret it. Anything hitches, just come back! At least you won't get bored!
I'm gonna do something with my body. Change it around. <laughs> Attention all Dark Town residents. This is Kurt Hansen. We've got some important guests to talk to. If you want my advice, I dump that pile of human offal. See how he likes being alone. Yeah, maybe you're right. Anyway, better get going. Take care. Chin up, sweet kids. Seeing sunshine round the bend. Just don't you let those bastards walk over you. What'll it be, honey pie? Take a cold beer, please. You got it. Sure am. Waiting for you. I'll be there momentarily. There's, uh, one thing you should know. Since then, there's legacy shit needs resolving. You know that op seven years back that went south? Well, Mize left me for dead. Cover story was I sold out to Arasaka. I never told Alex it was a cover. So... Things could get tense. You and Alex, two of you were close? I let our cell in the NC was her handler. She wound up stuck here in Dogtown post-war. Thinks it was because I turned coat. Do you see what I'm driving at? Got it. Might tell us to go fuck ourselves. Something like that. I'm nearing the entrance. And there you are. Enjoy, honey bunch. Thanks. First time in here. I got that right? You new to Dogtown? Oh, hell no. I'm looking for an Alex. Like fuck you are. You're on the awfully short list of folks we just don't serve here. Turn the fuck around and get I'll out. I have a gin and tonic. Make it a double. She's with me. You've got some balls. All right, my people. We gotta close up for the day. Well, I ain't going fucking anywhere. Come on. You serious? Everyone out! Now! Alex. 
Seven, seven fucking years in this shithole because of you, Solomon Reed. Holy. Saul ain't getting it. Maybe you will. Hey, what the hell? Relax, just want to talk this through. President Myers sent us. Got a mission in Dogtown. With him? FYI, seven years ago, this scumbag stabbed everybody no, in the back. seven years ago, I was ordered to go to ground. And you were fed a cover story. I had to take the fall. There was no other way. Expect me to believe you? Just like that? Get the fuck out of my sight, both of you. This look familiar. Got direct orders from the president. Right now, that's all you need to care about. I cared. Cared for seven years. <sighs> but now? It's all right. Take a moment. Fuck this. Need a smoke. that? Did, did she just shapeshift? Metatropic cloaking. Perks of the FIA Militech connection. Get to call dibs on their latest gen, cutting edge tech. Let me try this. Give me a minute. You're gonna talk to her. Someone's gotta. And better me than you. <sighs> Couldn't wait till I was done. Could spit in Reed's drink if it'll make you feel any better. <laughs> He'd know. Old dog, but senses sharp as ever. Even spit wouldn't make it past him. <laughs> so NUSA's tossing us back into the fray, huh? New mission? Yeah. Great so. Well, fire away. Serenade me. FIA agent went missing. Reed and I are tasked with finding her. And all of a sudden, FIA remembers I exist. You know Dogtown better than any other operative in their ranks. Their ranks? So you're not FIA. Curious. Attention all residents, this is Kurt Hansen. What leverage they had on you. Deal's just for this one op, then I'm out. Huh. <laughs> Wouldn't count on brevity. Me? One in the same mission for the last seven fucking years. Been working the local arms and tech dealers since the war. My one op, that. Going real swell. Well, I got a lot less time than that. Always starts the same way. Do them a favor, they promise one in return. Sometimes even deliver. Then one day... They nail your dick to the wall. This ought mean that much to you? Cause you're clearly hoping to get something out of it. Question is what? Survival. Woman we're after's offering something that could help me. Just gotta find her first. And by coincidence, Myers also wants her. Who the hell is this bimbo? Songbird. Fuck me. Gonna take more than one sig to process that. Is she on that short list of peeps you don't serve here too? Never told you the whole story, did he? What story? Story of a clusterfuck op. One that led to Reed disappearing and me being holed up here for seven years. Here's the list of operatives. Reed, Songbird, and me. Haven't heard this, have you? <laughs> I 
That's just perfect. Tell me you believe in coincidences? Or fuck it, fate? Cause plug the same variables into an equation and surprise, gonna get the same fucking result. Shit in, shit out. <sighs> well, you and that hangdog Judas are in luck. Cause I got a nasty habit of repeating the same gonk mistakes. Got conditions though. So what's your ask? Monaco. Wanna burn rubber along the Riviera? Drink champagne on a yacht with a fucking duchess. Wanna spy's retirement? Diplomatic posting in a warm, gobsmackingly gorgeous place where fruit off the trees is sweet and demand for field work is zero. Think you can manage that? Reed will take you to Monte Carlo himself if that's what you want. Cream. Go back inside, tell him I'm in. Gonna need more nicotine before I look at his face again. Thanks, Alex. So? Didn't tell me the whole story, Reed. That's twice now. But it's taken care of. She'll do it. In exchange for? Wants a spy's retirement. Someplace nice. But if you ask me, she's itching to get closure after what went down between you two. So, heard you need someone to hold your hand, Reed. Take you on a tour of NC's asswart. I came to you because I trust you, Alex. If you say so. Fine. Songbird. Heard we gotta sniff her out. First off, don't know that she's alive. We were linked, comms like. Song ventured into cyberspace and got attacked. She vanished just after. That's all we know. We need a net runner. Kind of spends all their waking hours parsing teraflops of data. Might have caught something. You have someone in mind? Wilkie Slider Laguerre. I should have figured. Went rogue a while back. But I know where that little rat nests. So... We paying him a visit. Slider hides out in a would-be spa in Luxor Heights. Flick you exact cords in two sex. Or we'll rendezvous there. Alex and I have some, uh, catching up to do. Right. Just don't gouge each other's eyes out. Need both of you alive and healthy. Dogtown last I checked. People gotta have some place to pay their respects. Problem with that is the dead don't give a fuck about flowers and lit candles. They're fucking dead. You're just butthurt because nobody ever lit a candle for you. Shit, maybe I am as sentimental as everyone else. When I see those two, Reed, Alex, went through something similar myself. Got a bond, two of them. Took maybe four minutes and they buried the hatchet. See it clear as day. 
Any shred of friendship they've got left will fizzle out. Not right now, but soon. Could have spilled the truth years ago, stayed tuned. But no, stubborn old Reed had his orders. That mutually exclusive friendship and duty. Matter of fact, they are. Had good reasons to fly the army coop. Think. How many times you willing to get burned before you stop trusting someone? Hmm. Might have a point, Johnny. Replace someone with country or corp. How many times you gotta take a bullet for these motherfuckers in the name of empty promises? Chew on that when you look at those two. Attention, this is Kirk Hansen. Good news, Dogtown. A certain president called Dogtown. You haven't been waiting long, I hope. Well, guess you and Alex needed a while to catch up. Hmm, yeah. All swell now, though. Let's go. Time's at a premium. They posted lookouts. Go figure. I doubt they'll play nice and just let us in. No harm in talking to him. Might let us through. You look like bad news. Turn around and crawl back to the hole you came from. Need to talk to Slider. No Slider to speak of here, zombie. So kindly fuck the fuck off, eh? Managed to hammer shit out with Placide and Brigitte. No doubt I can manage Slider. Ah, so you're the one the city boys have been talking about. Fine, go. Just make sure you behave. Gotta hand it to you, B. I'm impressed.
sana lagi. Ah. Dia dah tak mati. Yum telele so dina jungla. No lash. Your spooky shit don't impress anyone, Slider. <laughs> Fuck me. Solomon Reed. I would be lying if I said I have missed you. And you? You put Mama Bridget under your spell. Will you be with me as well? Dunno. Don't know you yet, Slider. I am called many things. Wilkie Lager, the blind fury of the cyberspace. A thorn in the NUSA's fat ass. Take your pick. Yeah, you forgot to add double murderer and all around coward. We're here to negotiate, Slider. Cut a deal. If one party is backed into a corner, it is not negotiation. It is extortion. You say tomato, I say fucking deal with it, Slider. Now, cut the shit and do us the courtesy of hearing us out. Plane crash in Dogtown. Heard about it? Plane? <laughs> you mean the Space Force One. Everyone hear about that. Need your help locating someone who was on board. And I would surely oblige. Were I not blind, wheelchair bound, and do not give zero fucks about that or you. Come on, stop pretending like you got a choice. Donk, Dim, sir. What specifically do you want from me? Soon after SF1 crashed, a runner was attacked while in the net. Attack severed our link. Need to locate her, stat. Ah, so you want one to investigate net traffic on the day of the crash? Got a malfunctioning relic in my skull. That's how she made contact. That help any? Hmm, perhaps. I will need a peek at this in your head. No, no chance, Slider. It is this or nothing. You choose. I can't see. Are we waiting for someone or just scratching our balls? Keep your eyes on him, Reed. I am blind, not deaf. Let us see what we have here. I see traces, bursts of data in cyberspace, the wake of someone's passage. They're mad. This I do not believe. You out of your mind coming to me with this shit. Think Slider just happened on you hanging out in my head. Nah, this is something else. What'd you see? The black wall. It bring only death. Specific, Slider. The woman. Did you know she used the black wall protocol to connect with you? Fuck. Explains a lot, actually. The woman? She is walking, ticking bomb. Megatons. She go boom. Everybody fucked in the ass. Every last one. Miwa Noir. It is a dam that protects us. The civilized world from the strange bets of the cyber wilderness. If your two leg bomb crack the dam down the middle, it will unleash a flood. Wipe us off the map just like Haiti. 
Now why you and the Pacifica Voodoo's don't see eye to eye? Because they're poking holes in the black wall? They do not penetrate. Only jerk off next to it. Let Watch try to keep them in check. But you have to be caught in the first place to want to stick your gigit into a live wire outlet. To the AIs, past the black wall, you are no more than a cockroach, a rabbit, a fragment of outdated code with no meaning. This why Netwatch flatline any who put integrity of black wall at risk. There's no laughing matter, my friend. It is a concern for the safety of all. That's why you, my friend, need to restore V's connection to our girl. You are out of your mind. Well, now you're part of this madness, too. Welcome to the shit show. More D. Non-negotiable, Slider. We need to find her. Besides, as long as she's out there, they catch her scent. They catch yours now, too. They'll set their wirehead freaks on to you and your people. So, you'll help me clean this up, cover all tracks, snip any threads leading back to you and consequently us. Do that, and we'll be square. You'll be off the FIA's hook, too. <sighs> Meld, it's my lucky day. Ever done anything like this before? What? Be the bridge between hosts using the Blackwall protocol? What the fuck do you think, eh? Confirm the data transfer before I change my mind. Here we go. With Alex, too. I can hardly believe he's here, but it's a good thing. Songbird, though we lost you, what happened? That thing, it almost fried my brain. I had to look for help beyond the black wall. Heard it ain't exactly safe. Not exactly. Clear. Listen, babe, don't have much time. Hansen's people tracked me down after I res the Chimera. I've been detained. I'm not in any danger. Not as long as I behave. Do what I'm told. I need more help. There's Spider, what's something's going on? not right, girl. Ah! Fucking black water! Sapphire V. Hansen's hosting a huge shindig there. Crash it on the sly. I'll find you. Make sure to tell Reed. I have a set for both of you. Is everything all right? Poor bastard. It's over. You short sucked. Slider. He flatlined because of us. Flatline, period. Need you to come clean. Were you gonna off him no matter what? Questions moot. Slide is dead. What's done is done. So, Songbird, what's up with her? Got the link back up. We spoke. 
She's fine. Mostly. Needs our help, but she's fine. In one piece. Alright. Give me the deets later. Time to doubt a V. Just because we got in without dropping bodies doesn't mean they'll wave us goodbye. Bon voyage, Slider. That's all of them. What did Songbird tell you? Seem glad that you and I have teamed up. Good. It means she trusts you. Anything else? Song needs our help, Reed. Hansen's nabbed her, holding her for reasons. God damn it. I can't imagine any worse news than that. Black Sapphire. Said Hansen's throwing a big bash there. We get in, she'll find us. Any idea what and where this sapphire is? Over there. See the tall of the two scrapers? Next to the one with the big ass screen. That's the black sapphire. A would be hotel ended up a failed multi billion eddy investment. Hence us fortress, smack in the middle of Dogtown. We can't just barge in. Doubt we have anyone on the inside or affiliated who could crack open a door either. Alex and I will pull some strings when our contacts. We do the same. You know, think of who you know around here. Maybe it won't happen on an idea, find a way. No local fixer. Goes by Mr. Hands. Could ring him. Do it. We'll be in touch. Hands, need a favor. Straight to biz. I like it. Aiming to go to an upcoming shindig at the Black Sapphire. Lusting to dance with the devil? V, the place is inaccessible and treacherous in equal parts. You cannot simply walk in uninvited as opposed to, say, Conpecky Plaza. Surely there's some way in. <sighs> Very well, I'll be frank. A handwritten invitation, unachievable, but I can work something out. I'll need a favor in return, though. Reputation is a currency. Its value derives from collective faith. It fluctuates. Do you understand me? Yeah, I see what you're driving at. Want me to help you earn a little rep? Precisely. Complete a few gigs for me, give my reputation in Dogtown a shot in the butt cheek. The Black Sapphire plans will be yours. All right, Hans. Got yourself a deal. 
I'm oh so glad. I'll feed her sane. I had a nightmare recently. My synth lungs were hacked. I choked, turned blue, then lost consciousness and woke up. My client, Indira Baratso, won't be so lucky if she doesn't strike a deal with her blackmailer. The lowlife in question, Milko Alexis, he works for the Voodoo Boys. You know what to do. If anything's unclear, read the attached details. Abel, my pale, we. Stop right there, you. Here on Biz. You have Biz with the Voodoo Boys? Yeah. Well, used to. After what you just did, thinking they'll want a new supplier. Milko Alexis, a Voodoo Boy. Know the name? Yeah. Not all I know, though. Guy practically lives in the net. Seems like he's got everyone walking on eggshells. Big deal, I guess. Where can I find him? Don't ask me. 
Got enough problems as it is. Came here to make a few ads, right? Tell me what I want to know, and you will. Now you're speaking my language. Right, so these implants. The voodoos break most of them down. Looking for code exploits, new hacks, and so on. Whatever they don't use, they install in old robots. Piles of scrap, most of them, but one came together real nice. Robots? What for? What for? Think for a sec. If this Milko guy's so important, probably needs round-the-clock protection. Help the Voodoo Boys build a small army. Surely you know how to beat it. How's your aim? I manage. Hmm. The Voodoos, they keep their bots in some kind of server room. I can overload the disk arrays, then you... You fuck up the servers till they go boom. Should result in a pulse big enough to melt the cirques of the rank and file. Okay, feel free to Delta. I got work to do. Hmm. Must be nice. Signature detected. Initiating evacuation protocol. Unlocking emergency exit. I'm linked to the runner, see? Don't want him to catch a ricochet, huh? Netrunner, blackmailer, murderer. He's my hit. He has some dirt under his nails, yes. But Milko, he's a no one. A small fish in a big pond. I am Agent Alan Noel, Netwatch. Organized crime specialist. I'm sure we can work something out. I met a Chumu yours recently. Likewise, sniffing around the Voodoo Boys. Did you greet him with a gun, too? He started it. Tried to scramble my brain first. That's why I'm not gonna waste my breath on a corpo this time around. At least let me unplug from Milko. Fine. But so much is a twitch, and you're a flatline. That's better. Now, listen to me. You can't kill Milko. Not yet. Want to stop me? Try. Months I've suffered this place. Hold up with these scabs on society. I aim to expose their web of blackmailers and murderers like Milko. But to do that, I have to find out who's pulling the strings first. This Milko guy work for you? 
Your source? I piggyback whenever he jacks into the net. Try to pin down who's feeding him orders. Give me a chance. Do you realize how many more people you can save this way? I have reports of victims all along the coast. Milko is only one of the runners working for the Voodoo Boys. As soon as I find the head behind the operation, I can chop it off and end this for good. I need Milko. His death alone won't change anything. Understand? To you, these victims are numbers in a file. No names, no faces. Well, my client does have a name, Indira Baratza. And she'll die if I don't do my job. You think I don't know that? Pulling Milko's plug will not save Indira's life. He'll just be replaced. Think he cares about those poor saps the voodoo boys are hacking? Last thing on his mind. Company you won't men do it, like him, right? all the same. Just out to be the next fake smiling employee of the month. Guess you'll have to manage without Milko. Do not do this. Still dry? Stitches all in place? Scavs kick you out of the clinic? What's it look like? A Sunday picnic? Fixer never said you had to evacuate the premises. Ah, you're from Hans. V, right? Thank God you're here. <laughs> Looks like a woman's implant. Not adjusted to your weight. What? Like I had my pick of chrome? Nah, just gotta tweak the load capacity. Knee joint settings first. See if that helps. Huh. Well, that we haven't tried. 
What do the scabs want from the head doc? Well, there's this girl with them, Nika Yankovic. Said she's looking for her brother. What, he a patient of yours? Look, that's all I know. She wanted to talk to Anthony and seemed really upset. Scav's got all the doors covered? Main one, sure. Heard them setting up inside. But you know, they broke in through a window. Could still be a way there. Once you're in, head to Anthony's office. Find the altar, hang a right. Stairs will take you to the basement. If the Scav's heard Anthony, well, then all these people are out of luck. Leave it to me. Saving with this Gen Zero. Они высовываетесь, придут! No, you step back, or I blast you! Here for Anderson. Need him out of here, alive. And I'm here for my brother. Couldn't give a fuck about this quack. You! Off your ass! Where's Gaspar?
Tell her what you know. Nobody gets hurt. I'm sorry. Do you work for me or the Scavs? Talk for fuck's sake! Ah, fuck! You! Merc! Help me! One shot too many, Scav. <laughs> Finally! You couldn't have done that from the start? You know, could have handled this gig yourself. Just had to tell the truth. The truth? The truth is her brother was a junkie with a prognosis of hopeless to death. But no, she wasn't interested in that truth. The patients, what's their status? With Odell, out in the street, waiting. Tell him it's all clear. It's time we got back to work. officers are in need of rescue, and who but you could save those sworn to protect us? 
Now, these two little piggies hey. went to market, struck a deal with one of Hansen's men, Dodger. What could go wrong, you think? Correct. Everything. Get in. Stella, the fiance of one of our officers, will fill you in. Best of luck. Stella? Something the matter? Get down. Can't get spotted by Dodger's men. Wouldn't it be easier to just move the car? Folding the seats might not cut it. Listen, this is serious, okay? You don't mess with Dodger's people. Okay, sure. Need your help with my fiancé, Bill, and his buddy, Charlie. They're trapped in the building across the street. Hans mentioned they're both in CPD? Both grade-A gonks, too. Sometimes do side gigs around town. Wanted to cut a deal with Dodger, but things obviously went south. Bill called me from inside, said only that, and I quote, it's bad. And if I don't get help, Dodger will paint the walls with their brains. Back when I was a kid, used to see badges deliver packages to the Tigers. Worked out for everyone, mostly. Till you run up against a guy like Dodger, a dealer with ties to Hansen, <sighs> try to warn him, but they never fucking listen. Just please try not to wipe Dodger's men. You'll make things go from bad to worse. Take this access card. Dodger took over an abandoned NCPD precinct. Security systems are still up and running, so this should get you in without a hitch. Upside's a last-gen NCPD tech, huh? Save them. Please. right. Pressed it. Nothing happened. It's fucking grown ass man. Who's asking? Charlie or Bill? It's Charlie. So Stella did manage to find someone. Thank fuck. Okay, let's try to get this open. Fucking slap this thing. A little help. Better step back. She 
Jesus fucking Christ! I know. What the fuck? Don't worry. Not my blood. <laughs> the hell happened? Uh, better see for yourself. It's just through here. What in the... This is Bill. Hi. Who is your friend? Uh, who, me? Just told you, I I'm Bill. Thanks, Bill, got that. No, I mean the dead fucking body on the table you somehow failed to mention to Stella. We, we, we didn't kill him, okay? We, we, we swear. Hey, long as you're paying, I'm just looking at two innocent cops standing over a dead body. Go on. Tell her about your genius idea. My idea? You're the one who Plan set up the deal with was Dodger. rock fucking solid. If only you didn't leave a bag of drugs in front of a junkie. How was I supposed to know he'd swallow it? You said drugs? Oh, you go! No, you! I swear to fucking God. Went like this. Choom over here clips Dodger's shit. Hightails it to NC. We catch wind, Dodger's put out a bounty to bag him. Bring back his nose candy. Bump right into him during a routine stop. Dumb fucking luck. Choom was carrying seven ounces of Sin Coke. So we cuffed him. Took him here. Choom swallowed seven whole ounces? That even possible? So we're here, waiting on Dodger, when Bill pops the baggie on the table like it's nothing. All of a sudden, this gonk turd yells, Fuck you, pigs, and stuffs the bag in his mouth! Could've had a food tube implant? Like a deep, wide throat? Yeah, like the one your mom's got. Fuck you even talking about, Bill! Couldn't get him to just spit it out? We tried to make a trek oh, tr track it, tra f fuck. Poke a fucking hole in his neck. No dice. Bag must have broke because he got all foamy at the mouth. Started spazzing out and then just croaked. That's when we started to panic. This fool gulped tens of thousands worth of eddies. What the fuck else are we supposed to do? If the bag already broke, why bother trying to play Operation? We panicked, all right? Shit happens. <sighs> this... It's all gone. Dissolved. And now Dodger's gonna end us. So you bring him the thief who swiped his dope. Only now, there's no thief. Or dope. Yeah. It's about the gist of it. You gotta help us get out of here. Couldn't it just up and left on your own? Well, we kinda left our iron in the squad car. Just keeps getting better. Where is it? In the garage. To the garage it's we official, go. V. Finally made it to the major leagues. League of first class leadheads, to be precise. Nice of you to join us, Johnny. Oh, Stella's gonna your kill answer. me if she finds out what we did. I'm a dead man walking. You know what you could use? What? A nice big pair of balls. Oh, cause you're such a tough guy? Not like you stutter in front of the cap every fucking time. I don't fucking stutter. Let us through here before. What was the code again? 2893? It was 2983. Idiot, it was 2893. Saw him punch it. Go on. Didn't work. Ha! <laughs> 2983, I fucking told you. Dodger school. Careful. Huh? Got enough problems as it is. Shit! 
Another door. Sealed tight. Again? Come on, guys. Hey, this wasn't us, okay? Gotta be a switch around here somewhere. Dodger will drown us in eddies, Bill. The plan is foolproof, Bill. Trust me, I know what I'm saying, Bill. <sighs> Shut up, Bill. So what if it's fucking Pacifica? What, too pussy to set foot there, Bill? Afraid of earning some serious scratch? Says the asshole who couldn't keep a bag in his fucking pocket. right through here. You do have them, don't you? The keys. Shit. Wait, don't tell me you left them upstairs. Chill, Chum. Got them right here. Fellas. Oh, I'm out early. We, uh, we can explain. Quiet. You, I don't know. Care to introduce yourself? Got hired by these two to help. Oh, <laughs> they look like they could use a hand, all right. One thing I can't put my finger on, though. What's that you got on your faces? A little ketchup? Run out of napkins? Uh... Yeah, well... Uh, no, not us. Per se. You any better at speaking full sentence? Um... Uh, there was a shootout. A, a, a guy got hit. It was, it was bleeding out fast. Uh, after that, brought your stuff here. Uh, left it all upstairs, so... It's all good. Another smooth talker. All right. Third time's a charm. Is he spinning yarns? Don't need me to answer that. You're right. I don't. Charlie, Bill, just tell him what happened. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, we caught the gawk who clipped your seven ounces, brought him back here. Problem is, he, uh, he ate the product. He ate the... Swallowed all. Seven ounces? In front of you? Uh, it was so quick we didn't have time to react. We, we tried taking it out, but... but You did what now? Um, hey, don't look at me. Wasn't there. Starting to wish I was. So spill what happened. And don't skimp on the gory deeds. Uh, we... We... We tried taking the stuff out? F from him? Like, from the inside? Inside? I don't even... So all this blood? Wanted to get it back for you, but it all kinda, um, dissolved in him. You believe this shit? Savages, boss. Okay. And how do you factor into this freak show? It 
They're scared you're gonna zero them. Let me get this straight now. You two fools let this scares bag old Dion on your watch. Then slice him open after the Queso Blancos are already dissolved. As if that's not enough, you hire a merc, cause you're scared you get two to the back of your skulls. Out sums it up. <laughs> oh, you can't make this shit up. Fucking badges, man. Protect and serve my ass. That's why they call you NC's finest, huh? Finest to fuck ups, am I right? <laughs> ah, wait till the boys hear this. <laughs> Should've caught them on camera, boss. So... We good? Sure. For now. Besides, I'd give a measly seven ounces for a story like that any day. You're free to go, officers. Ought to check on the boys upstairs, boss. Touche. Bear with us, Melissa. Check their biomines. Sigs are all flat, boss. Scratch what I said. Afraid I can't let you go. Let's not get too hasty here. You got a side splitting story for your chooms. We just want to get out of here without causing any more trouble. Okay? You murdered my people cold. You see me? See the heat and chrome I'm packing? I'm good at what I do. If I were you, I'd choose my next move wisely. Wait. You think I'm scared of you? Me? Tell you what'll happen. We're gonna slowly, calmly walk out of here without a gonk move from anybody. Real nice and easy. Boss. Alright, get him out of here before I change my mind. But don't think you heard the last of me, fellas. Bill, Charlie, get in the car in Delta. Move! We're going, we're going! Th thanks, V. Let me put it this way. This is the last time I do a gig for the badges. Prickly today, are we? I'll make do without details. If the client is happy, then so am I. Contract closed. Hey, hold, hang on a sec, Hans. Remember our deal? Yes, the Black Sapphire. I have an entry strategy for you. Foolproof. Meet me at the Heavy Hearts. Okay, be there soon.
you there. This is a nice place, so play nice, hear me? Got our eyes everywhere. Is it your mother can't help you with? No, no. Your father must get back to work now. Okay? Okay. Ah, if it isn't V. V, my favorite Merc. Splendid. What you completed for me significantly shifted the playing field vis-a-vis -vis Hanson. Excellent work, precisely as requested. Maybe the one thing I didn't expect, to see the man behind the hollow curtain. The elusive Mr. Hands in the flesh. Not only did you rescue those clowns in blue, you also managed to reach an accord with Dodger. Your head in the game throughout, well done. You have proven to be a person I can trust, hence my decision to drop the veil and meet in person. A rare occurrence, I assure you. Were I to have more virtuosos like you, I wager I'd have more than Dogtown in my grasp. Dogtown, Pacifica, then I'd line up the rest, snort, and it'll be done. Working with bona fide professionals, positively a treat. Hope all that hard work won't go to waste. Profit for me means profit for you. Nothing simpler. You may not know this, but I hasten to assure you no one has ever regretted doing business with me. I know it may not seem all that clear from where you stand, but the gigs you have completed will allow me to audaciously shift some of the pawns and figures on the chessboard that is Dogtown. Checkmate is but a few moves away. Take it you'd prefer Dogtown with no Hanson at the helm? Hanson wields much power, greedily so. He's also clever. These traits I tolerate, even value, when occurring in isolation. But all at once, no. Especially not in one who grips an entire district in the palm of his hand. It makes business... trying. And arrest you in some tea. It's my own blend. Sure, why not? So, how did this combat zone become Dogtown? Do you know? I heard this and that. Something to do with the war? 2069. Colonel Hansen led an operation colorfully called Midnight Storm. The objective? To occupy this combat zone and establish an NUSA staging ground in Night City. Soon after, the sides agreed to a ceasefire. Hansen's force was left to fend for itself. Headquarters, the public, everyone feigned ignorance, pretending Hansen and company were never here. 
But our good colonel decided to put down roots. He declared this combat zone an NUSA territory. In our terms, he carved out an enclave for himself and went from soldier to arms dealer overnight. Marooned he was. Two weeks for a bullet to reach his brain, everyone thought. But his brain remained intact, and he became a force to be reckoned with. A man whose existence is a threat to many is a dangerous man indeed. Let's table politics for now, huh? Go straight to biz? Business. Hmm. Of course. The Black Sapphire. Hanson stronghold, guarded by elite soldiers. Military quarters are situated on lower levels, while top floors are a decadent haven for the ultra-rich. The building's blueprint was not easily procured, I should say. Hansen guards his hotel secrets as if they were an embarrassing rectal itch. But, given a will, ways are usually found. You help a client of mine, they reciprocate, and I gain latitude. Quid pro quo in full effect. The building plans are yours. I'll even throw in vulnerabilities to watch for, a token of my appreciation. And, though this goes without saying, the data, its source, are completely secure. No one knows you have it. Data leaks, or lack thereof, are the difference between myself and, say, the late Mr. Deshawn. The Shard. Black Sapphire Info and Blueprints. All nooks and crannies. I trust it's all you need to waltz in and perform your planned pirouettes. Yet a word of caution. Even fully prepared, you'll be marching into a pit full of vipers. Watch your step. Thanks, Hans. I only hope this won't mark the end of our collaboration. Truth be told, a few new assignments seem imminent. Let me guess. More local political gaming? Activity is abundant in Dogtown, and behind closed doors, plots and schemes. Should change ever occur, as it inevitably must, someone really ought to pave the way for a smooth transition. Nice meeting you. Finally pinning a face on the name. You should count yourself lucky. Few have done so and lived to tell the tale. And V, whatever happens at the Black Sapphire, make sure you come back alive, hmm? You're going where local and international politics mix. Strong currents, both. I'll make sure to plant my feet firmly then. Later, hands. Reed, got the data shard from Hans. Our golden ticket into the Black Sapphire. Perfect. Send to him. No worries. This connection's secure. Catch. It's on its way. And reception complete. I'll pass it on to Alex. And as soon as you're ready, join us at the Moth. If I'm not there when you arrive, just wait. Till then.
Comes easy. Goes easy. Sit down. How can I help? Really? <clears throat> Starting to get used to it. This the relic? Gets worse every day. Time I have left evaporating quick. You experience them often? These attacks? Don't really keep count, but never know if the next one won't be my last. No shit. Death's breathing down my neck. Always. I know what that feels like. What do you mean? I never talked about this, you know. I should be saying they tried to kill me. But sometimes it feels like they actually succeeded. Tell me more. Ambush. Attempt on my life seven years back. Yeah, he said. What exactly happened there, Reed? I landed in the ICU. While I waited for some Arasaka goon to come finish me off. I was betrayed. By our people. The FIA. I say betrayed. But I was sold out part of a deal, a peace offering, my head on a silver platter, all for a ceasefire. Peace comes at a price. Someone's always got to pay it. Come on, I'm going to show you something. Hang on. They set you up, yet here you are working for them again? Even deep wounds stop hurting eventually. Scar over. A few years on, they're just a niche. Let's go. Let's ride down. Where are we headed? On a little trip down memory lane. To see some old junk. I still can't believe Alex decided the best place for a bar was right over our old safe house. She's always had a twisted sense of humor. Where's she at? Waiting downstairs? She's finishing up recon in town. We should make ourselves at home until she gets back. It's been dark for seven years, this place. Let's brighten things up again. Any war is never pretty. Both sides race to tie up loose ends. A car bomb blew up one of my crew. Another was poisoned. A third got shot in the back of the head while buying a pack of smokes. A couple of them just vanished without a trace. Every night we waited for Arasaka agents to come finish us off. I had to make a choice. I chose to dig our heels in. 
I thought we still had a fighting chance. It was bold. It was stupid. A mix of both. Maybe I just didn't know how to walk away. Let it rest. Or maybe... I don't know how to lose. Either way, we managed to save a few more agents. The price for that was yours truly. Say what you want, but sounds like they stabbed you in the back, plain and simple. Saving many of my people in the process. You play grown-up games, you face grown-up consequences. Funny. Out of everyone. It was Songbird they asked to pull the trigger. Wait. Yeah. Pulled the trigger as in literally took out her iron and shot you. Not personally, but she unlocked the door for those who came and did. I was leaving the city, heading home. Songbird was still here, in this very room, in fact. He was guiding me on comms, led me straight into a trap. Neutralizing me. The last assignment in Night City. Then she got a ticket home. And yet you're now trying to save her. Why? Because it's the right thing to do. I had plenty of time to examine this under a microscope. On the focus, some things sharpen, others blur. But there comes a point when you just cut through the bullshit and see what's in front of you. Songbird is still my people, and nothing can change that. Fuck, Reed. Now, my is is a whole nother story. But Songbird, no. I got nothing against her. So why Myers? I miss anything? Some reminiscing. So good. Let's get this show going. I checked up on Slider's contention. Fucking had it right, it turns out. I dove into old mission files wherever Somi was involved. They were buried deep, near impossible to access, even with my clearance. Each and every one, the Blackwall. All authorizations, mission orders, personally signed by one person, Rosalind Myers. Wouldn't want to be in her shoes if that shit floats to the top. The NUS is a small country governed by a woman with highly ambitious goals. Sometimes those ambitions went out of reason. But that's not something we need to pour over now. Alex, what do you have for us? Oh, a little of this, a little of that. We'll plan in a sec. Say, V, like playing fancy dress up? Of course. Who doesn't? Mm, then you'll like what I whipped up. Managed to learn that some pop megastar is gonna grace the party with a show. Guest list? Expect everybody who's anybody. That includes you. Gonna don fancy outfits and rub shoulders with VIPs. Be warned though, fancy doesn't mean easy. Ready for the deets, V? Let me hear them. Black Sapphire, the most heavily guarded place in Dogtown. Doesn't mean security's airtight, though. V, you're gonna enter through a flooded tunnel system. Got a top-of-the-line diving suit, ought to fit you snug as a glove. Water's maybe a little super toxic. So yeah, be careful. Toxic how, exactly? Hmm, from suspect waste, some sewage leak too. Don't worry, suit's pissing shit-proof. Already know what the hotel looks like. Really, really hard to miss. Flooded tunnels here. That's your way inside. Now focus. You'll reach a terminal at the end. Jack in and breach the cams, giving Reed his window to slip into the building. You'll take different elevators up, here. Saul will open a passage to his side. For you ask, yeah, it's the only way. Area could be heavily guarded, so you'll have to be on your tippy toes. Couldn't get clean intel, so you'll just have to be creative. Improvise. You're gonna meet here. Soon as you meet up, you'll doll up like it's prom night and go to the ball. 
That's where you'll rendezvous with Songbird. All clear? Yup. Prem. Okay, let's talk gear. Take your time. Grab anything you think might be useful. A surprise awaits you in the box. This your iron? Sure is. Her Majesty's been itching to return to active duty. I'd be honored. That reminds me. Hands. What did he want in return for the favor he did us? Got an invisible war going on in Dogtown. Hanson against anyone who wants a slice of the pie. Hands sees an opportunity. Wants my help in exploiting it. Politics. It's the same shit wherever you go. You know, if not for you, we'd have no way of getting into the Black Sapphire reaching Somburg. It's good to have you on our side. I mean that, V. That it? We set? I believe we are. I'll hang back a while, and then meet you there. Place stinks of memories, huh? A little dusty. A war preserve. What are we gonna do with it once I'm on the Riviera? Gonna lock yourself in here? Fondle all this old dead tech till your balls shrivel up? Burn it to the ground's what we'll do. And never come back. Now that I like.
If you could turn back time, what would you do? Not a way to stay in that field. So you die. What a fucking shit style. Reed, you copy? Made it to the hallway. Copy you loud and clear. I'm in position two. If it is, then either it's been stolen or I'm just fucking black. Just keep looking. Shit's on my list. Plain as fucking day. Are you still there? Sure am. I'm at the warehouse gate. 
You'll need to secure the area, crack it open from the other side. You read. Open the pack essentials only. No, goddammit. We gotta split before dawn. Already told you. Boss found it in my locker. If we don't leave. Would you just listen to me for a second? If we don't blow town before tomorrow, I'm fucking dead. Do you understand that? Yes, it's that serious. Look, I need to go, okay? Bye. But these need deliverance, Chum! <laughs> Not through here, they don't. VIPs only. So where am I supposed to... Delivery. Do I look like Did the you spot fucking hotel we're stepping into you? Other entrance. Liquor boxes and such. Ah, oh, there you are. We've got some important guests in downtown. Here by my personal invitation. What's the sitch? See a gate. Two guards. Don't worry about them. Give me open that gate. There you go. Attention all downtown residents. This is Kurt Hansen. Good news. Yesterday we completed some necessary repairs. I've acquired elevator access. Come right to the top. Get moving. I'll meet you there. Roger that. Starting today. It's gotta be checked out. It's gotta be here somewhere. See this? Someone was fucking around here. Scared of him? Has him. The man's repeatedly told both the NUSA and NICE to go fuck themselves. He should have been put down long ago. Instead, he rules this entire district. Well, so you are scared. This is Hanson's surf. He has the upper hand. It's just a fact that he needs accepted. Does it mean I'm shaking at the knees? Hell no. Find a vantage point to have eyes on me. Neutralize any and all threats. Calm and quiet. Ah! 
dropped the sniper. Nesting in his perch now. Had the perfect vantage point, saw everything. Cover me. You're in prime duck hunting position. New user detected. Calibration in progress. Firing mode inactive. I'm in position. Do you have a visual on me? I got you. What now? We do this nice and quiet if we can, got it? Spot any guards in my way and give me a heads up. Don't worry, boss. Rifle sports a silencer if it comes to that. Better look around. Got a mine just past the corner. Well spotted. I could have missed it. Cam's galore here. Should have access once the sniper's nest completes calibration. Good. They could prove useful. Healthy smattering of guards along their path. Copy that. We'll take them out one by one. Best if they never knew we were here. See the main elevator shaft? Too risky. There'll be sentries up top. Keep an eye on it, though. See a bunch of containers. Could use them to get to your side. Yeah, see them too. Let me build that bridge. There's a service elevator nearby. We'll take that up. Gotta get there first, though. Cover me. Calibration complete. Firing mode active. Contact! We've been spotted. Have to blast our way through. Cover me, B. I go to the scope. Man down! Take their place! Fuck! I got a few bogeys on my six! Focus! Don't let me out of 
out of your sight. I need support. Stand. Tango's down. Heading towards the bridge now. Messed that up like a bunch of rookies, but there's no going back. Elevator, follow me. Almost there, V. Fucking finally. You're looking a little pale. Deja vu is all. Different elevator, different hotel. The sits didn't turn out great. What makes you say that? It's my job to notice things like this. How many ops you been on, Ballpark? One of the number of years you've been around. But right now, we're crashing the party of a bad boy dictator. While aiming to walk out with his prized possession. Dress up time. Throw on your new threads and plaster on your best fake smile. A party awaits. We're all set.
Yeah, you're a real looker. Now come on. Gotta hand it to Hanson, V. Party's hopping. Has a sense of grandeur. Didn't have shit like this in my day. Now hop on over there and help me out. Managed to forget what real champagne tastes like. Say again? Maintenance area? Where exactly? Wounded, or do we have bodies? I'll be at the bar if you need me. We should be asking who's not here. NCPD commissioner? Politicians? Diplomats? Celebrities? Corp execs? Gang bosses? Well, Hansen's clearly made it. It's literally as if he's defecating truffles and caviar while they're all lined up to hold their plates up to his ass. I mean, they want a gold. Welcome. Would you care for some champagne? Don't mind if I do. A pleasant evening to you. What now? I know as much as you do. All she said was to come here. She'll either find us, or she left us something. And you? What's your play? Gonna stroll and mingle? Might spot her in the crowd. Good idea. To my right, Booth's far back behind the stairs. The guy in the fatigues. Looks like he came here straight from a firing range. Owner of the Black Sapphire, Mr. D-Town himself, Kurt Hansen. Clearly having a great night in the company of the NCPD commissioner. PA Broadcast. He's fiercely anti-law enforcement. It's an act. Behind closed doors, he's rubbing elbows and patting backs of NCPD's top brass. Avoid him, especially in the confrontation. Beside that, stay visible. Songbird said she should find us here. Let's give her a chance. I'll grab a drink and look around. Open line on comms. Don't press anyone too hard. We need to keep Want up to appearances. A drink? Look like you're having fun. Gin and tonic, please. Say, I'm looking for a friend. You're supposed to be here. Okay. Does your friend have a name? Dong Song, Korean lady. Enjoy. Yeah, I can see it. Have one on me later, yeah? Thanks. Thanks. As you wish, sir. Watch it. So, Kurt Hansen, Duke of Dogtown, in the flesh. More mutt than alpha hell, looks like. Is up for grabs. All of it? Except for Haywood. What about Santo Domingo? Nobody cares about Santo Domingo. My people tell me that all land transit to and from Night City passes through here. Who cares about land transit? We own the port, the docks, the airport. The airport's also ours. If the nomads battle over the highway, they'll see. Sorry, I can't let you go any further. This isn't about who has the right credentials. You just have to speak Hanson's language. Oh. You think Hanson will agree to revitalize 10% of the job? We need equipment that can withstand and remain reliable and extremely low temperatures. Thanks.
We have new variables to consider. Perales' campaign, the investigation. No, no, I, I know that it was specially done for us. Payment is not what's at issue. I just need the paperwork. Here via the relic is a vestige of the past from a time when I still wasn't. See, the black wall, it's hard to explain. Each connection, penetration comes at a price. It's so good you're here. Don't know what I'd do without you, V. Really. Good to finally meet you in the flesh, face to face. The way our last combo ended was... Troubling. The, uh, runner. Your friend. Who, who helped us reconnect last time. Killed him. Fried him, didn't I? You didn't kill Slider. Blackwell did. Lucky as hell it didn't flatline you too. I ran out of time. To explain... Everything. Saul. I've made... so many mistakes. It's all right, son. Not your fault. The blame's on us. All of it. On you? I is all of them. I know what they made you do. They pushed and pushed, and I... I wasn't there to stop it. We'll talk later. First order of business, we pull you out of here. That's not happening. It is. We got in, we can get out. Just Not the me. point. I'm dying, Saul. Like V. Hansen has the cure we need. We run now, we both die. Relic's killing V. Blackwall's my poison. I can't bow out now. Whoa. Sharing a boat to oblivion with me? Could have said something. Had no time. Still don't. But hear me out. I need help. Your help. Hansen pulled some tech out of a bunker under Dogtown. Tech that could cure both V and me. We need to clep it. Only way I see of doing that is to stay close. Play the prisoner. So oh, fuck. We'll wait for an opportunity and pounce. I'll be on the inside. Ask for your help when the time's right. I can flee once I have that tech. Nothing's ever simple, is it? Ah. So me. Care to introduce your friends? It's not often I'm... Simply not familiar with guests attending my own party. And I never forget a face. Kurt Hansen. Name's V. Just V. Haven't seen so me in years. Trying to catch up. Oh, that's what this is. To me, reunions consist of picking up the broken, scattered shards of your heart. Or teeth. Always hurts. Well, I need to grab you, darling. I have a couple NC politicos here who are dying to meet you. And if we're to keep hungry rats from devouring Dogtown, we really do need to feed them the occasional scraps. 
I'm all yours, Kurt. See you soon, V. Oof. Cream, it worked. Reestablished our link the moment I touched you. Interesting. I need a minute to process. And I need a drink. Heading downstairs. I'll explain everything. Just need you to listen. Lied to me, Song. Said you had the cure. No mention of a fuckload of flaming hoops I gotta jump through to get it. It was no trick. Just didn't tell you the whole story. V, I... I can't explain everything now. It's too much. But I really do need your help. All I want is to get that cure for us. It's what I've been chasing all along. The cure. How do we get it? We need the Neural Matrix. Secret tech that incorporates AIs from beyond the Black Wall. The Matrix is nested in a mainframe Hansen pulled out of the bunker. The mainframe's secured, but Hansen lacks the key. That's the problem. Got a plan? Spill it. Hansen needs me and a duo of runners who worked on this tech in the past. They actually grabbed access codes they're willing to unload for a price. Classic black market shit. They're bringing access, I'm bringing know-how about how to pull the matrix and data off the mainframe. We're to work side by side, giving us a chance. You clip the access codes, then get the runners out of the way. You'll then impersonate them for a meet with Hansen. Say meet or we'll swipe the matrix out from under his nose. This job, this whole story about Hansen. Not adding up something fierce, Song. You're hiding something, still. I don't have time to explain the ins and outs now. V, please, we need the Matrix. Focus on the runners, find them. They're here, downstairs. Red-headed twins, walled to the teeth with ice. Grocery scans will show you bunk. You're blowing me off. Champagne glass over there. Prep some intel for you. Get it to read. You'll need it later. Really need to go now, V. I'm counting on you. Songbird. And she's gone. Just dazzling. Seems your special agent has special needs, trying to drown his sins and sorrows. Talk to Songbird via the relic. We can communicate again. Hmm. All good there, Reed? Yeah. I just need to process for a minute. It's just how I'm built. A little adversity and I need a few moments to think. Come up with anything? Yeah. We now know who took a swipe of Myers's head. What are you thinking? Don't know about you, but I see coincidences as patterns. Structures we have yet to recognize. Huh. What you driving at? SF-1 crashes. Not anywhere, but over specific turf. Controlled by someone who found some obscure forgotten tech in a secret bunker. Right. The crash was an inside job. We suspected that from the get-go. Now we know it was. And we know it was Songbird. She was behind it. Too early for conclusions, don't you think? Got no proof she planned this in advance. Could've improvised. Reacted to facts. 
Come on. You don't actually think she learned about the cure just now? She made a deal with Hansen earlier. Had to. Before any of this went down. Traded the President's life for access to the tech. I don't know about that. Song recruited me specifically to pull Myers out of that wreck. I seriously doubt she wanted her dead or snatched by Hansen. It's never that simple, V. As I see it, Somi was playing both sides, simultaneously spinning deals with Hansen and you. She has Hansen set, then you come in. She contacts you via the relic, asks you to rescue the president. Absolution for her right there. You need to the cure just as much, guaranteeing you'll help if her plan falls through. And here we are. Yeah, and here we are, rushing to Songbird's rescue. Thinking a few steps ahead was always a strength. But judgment calls and situational assessment, her Achilles heel. As a chess master, she'd be famous for dazzling plays and excruciatingly beautiful defeats. Sheesh, don't know what to believe just yet. That's not surprising. But I know Somi well enough to know she'll do her damnedest to be fair. So... What are you thinking about all this? I'm not convinced Somi's to blame for everything. In this trade, nothing's ever as it seems. You gotta keep asking questions till you get to the bottom of it. That's experience talking. Main thing now is to get her out of this cesspool of a sitch. Then we'll see which direction to take. Right. No point pouring over it now. Right. Back to the sitch at hand. What do we have to do to save her? To grab the tech Songbird and I both need, we gotta go to a meet with Hansen. Prep for it's required. Cause we show up as a pair of runners. Need to collect their identities first, whatever that means. Personality imprint theft. Sounds like our Colombian job of yore. Who are they and where do we find them? Song got this shard to me. Take a look. Our targets are a brother and sister, red-haired twins. You're here somewhere, schmoozing. Hmm. Okay, we need to pull data. Get samples of assorted behavior. We make contact with them, talk, scan as we talk. Got it. I think. So, time to make our move? Over there. Twin roulette, looks like. Alex. Copy that. Radio loud and clear. Prep and scan tech now. You're new to this, but relax. We'll do it as a four-hander. I scan one, you handle the other. Alex will pilot us through. V, zip and funds your way from our operating budget. Load up on chips and join their game. Just don't go all in from the get-go. We stagger our approach, and we're strangers. Let's get to this. Struck gold with roulette, really. Gambling throws people around, high and low, brings the joy of winning and the despair of defeat. Perfect for our purposes. Greetings, madam. Wanna buy some chips? Of course. Good luck at the tables. Important. You're not there to have fun. Simple bets, red or black only. None of the double street or basket bullshit. Understood? Understood. Will you join us? 24. Even. Black. Place your bets, please. Betting's open? By all means. Black it is, then. Relax. Buy him drinks, break the ice. I'll join you momentarily. All bets. 
that, Soren. Bidding is closed. What? No introduction? V. You? Aurore Cassel. And that boar is my brother, Emmerich. What's your poison? My treat. A bourbon for me. Alas, mon frère does not drink. You heard the lady. And real water for the gentleman here. And what'll you have? Same as the lady. Bourbon coming up. Your drinks will be here shortly. 34. Even. Et merde! Place your bets, please. <gasps> Last chance. Black. Let's go, let's go. V. Can't get a hold of Reed. No idea where he is. Stall for time, okay? Hmm, I just realized. Uh, you must have dirt beneath your fingernails, too. Like all these bastards and bitches. That is, unless you're uh, into tourist. Like the no-lifers who must watch others live to feel anything. Provocative, this one. Yeah. Conscience ain't sparkling clean. No. Mmm, I like those who brag about such things. 30. Even. Red. Ah, oh, yes. Duh! Fucking done here! Duh! <sighs> Place your bets, please. Can't help feeling I, uh, interrupted something when I walked up. Do not worry yourself about this. Oh, come, come. V is just being cordial. N'est-ce pas, V? You weren't snooping just now, were you? Odd. Red. Still no sign from Reed, V. Got a sinking feeling about this. Place your bets, please. Eight's my magic number, so gonna go with eight. Ah, oh, you got me. <laughs> On to you big time. But in my defense, you guys stand out, even in a crowd like this one. Oh, really? Listening to conversations of strangers can be... dangerous. Sometimes you can hear more than you can handle. Listen, Reed's MIA for now, can't wait for him. Gotta do both scans on your own. We were discussing local politics, specifically our host, Monsieur Kurt Hansen. Big fish selling big guns for big money. Yet here you have celebrities, politicians, even the chief of police. So I was thinking, uh, perhaps Hansen would do better by being a veritable businessman, no? I claim he would. Mon cher frère disagrees. Six. Even. Black. Ugh. Guess it's not my lucky day. Place your bets, please. Scan them now. It's why you went there. Who is Kurt Hansen really? A crucial question. Tread carefully with that duo, V. The fuck? Psychoanalysis a hobby of yours? No, putain. I'm merely trying to have a conversation. V, no. Too hard. I'm asking what you think of him, not if his parents loved him. Don't know the guy that well, really. Honest. I like it. Better this than invented nonsense. Nice little dodge, V. Nine. Odd. Red. Place your bets, please. Tu ne serais pas en train de devenir trop pote avec elle. Oh, fais pas ton jaloux, petit frère. C'est pas comme si on allait baiser, elle et moi. I mean, Hansen could take Dog down by the throat 
eject the junkies and make it a paradise for billionaires. Just getting rich is dull. You should work for the community. Invest, create jobs, throw banquets. She's getting chatty. Doing good, V. And charities are excellent washing machines. You launder billions, believe me. Twelve. Even. Red. Place your bets, please. You're so childish. It's beautiful. What? Hanson going missionary position in business? Nonsense. <sighs> Reed's still not responding. But you keep working it. Let's go. Swap twins. And basically owns Dogtown. Could use that as leverage. And who would Hanson be? The mayor? Please. He is very good at what he does. A professional criminal. Soldier yesterday, crime lord today. Why not biz shark tomorrow? Yet he is a businessman. And to make it legal, it is a lot of work to do for a simple change of labor. Good. Little worms opening up. Four. Even. Black. Eh ben voilà, c'est comme ça qu'on fait! Place your bets, please. Don't got much respect for upright, honest peeps, do you? Allow me to say, V. Arms or property, it would make no difference to me what I sell. And to spend five years on efforts to uh, change how people see you, call you, to be upstanding in the eyes of others, I could not give a shit. 23. Odd. Red. Ah, damn. I should have bet on red. Place your bets, please. Getting there. Almost got it. Give me something big now. Make them laugh or cry, I don't care. Please place your bet. How about we go all in? Bet everything we won tonight. <gasps> and we play different colors, yes? You win or we do. And either you or we lose all. My thoughts exactly. A moment. You join the table. Buy drinks, talk and talk. Now you wish to risk everything? I find this disquieting. Perhaps you could now tell us about yourself. Tread lightly. Name's V. Afterlife affiliated. Make what you will of it. Oh, are you happy now? You choose first, then. Black's my choice. Oh, we are red. As our hair. A luscious color. Some you lose some, folks. Leave us for a moment, if you please. Goodbye, then. I know your friend Reed is FIA. My natural assumption is... You're an agent, too. I'm also guessing you two took it upon yourselves to save the President. Then exfil her out of Dogtown. I should send you back to Night City in body bags. Filled with pieces.
Wow, you cracked it. Clever man. To be honest, I got tired of the media circus. All the allegations thrown in my face. The bullshit propaganda. Luckily, we can put all that behind us now. Oh, so what now? Gonna kidnap me? Torture me? I will let you and Reed walk free of this place. In one piece. On your own two feet. Consider it a gesture of my goodwill. Your little bird came to me on her own, though. She was tired of breaking international laws on the president's whim. She simply had to run away. Breaching the black wall, jeopardizing the net, all humankind's safety, in fact, for personal gain? I wonder what Netwatch would say. Pass it on to President Myers. Also tell her, her toy of mass destruction is my friend now. And she should get the fuck out of my backyard, or the world will learn about her games. I've matters to attend to. You'll find Mr. Reed downstairs. Okay, V. Got all we need. Sheesh. Colossal prick. Hear what he said? Yeah, caught it all. Didn't like it one bit, either. Son of a bitch that I'd find Reed downstairs. Yeah, heard him. Wasn't crazy about his tone. Time to evac, V. Best not tempt the face. Head to the elevator, ride down to one. Need to know what's up with Saul. You're going to eat something, Lizzie. No buts. You can't run on empty. Hey, Liz Wiz, famed singer, right? And you are? V. Just V. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Just V. Perhaps we'll meet again someday. We just might. Enjoy your evening. No need to worry. Routine verification. Please enjoy your evening. Hmm. People are checking. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? Actually, the laundry room area, I think someone was there. But earlier. Thinking about what that prick said. Songbirds are walking, talking WMD. And Hansen's got her on a tight leash. And he can prime her for use whenever he wants. Listen, V, we need to get her out. For everyone's sake. Guy knows. Got some dirt on Myers. Can't imagine it happening. But if the public learns that any U.S. president willingly broke international laws governing cyberspace use... Then you will either have to take the fall, let herself be buried in dirt for this, or she'll defy the world and spark another war. Fuck me. Oh, just once I'd like to see things go smoothly, as planned. This feels so very, very wrong. You and your chum best be headed the fuck out now. Straight on from here? I'm going. I'm going. Sheesh. Hey, hold the fuck up. Are you the ones who busted your way in? Through them tunnels like eels or something. Got nothing to say, bitch. Scram! Or you can stick around. Get down on all fours, twerk it, and work it. Good call. 
Come Nora will be out in moments. Wasn't that hard, hmm? It's your lucky day, you two-faced shits. Fuck out of here. How things go, V? Got everything. All set. You got thorough scans of the runners. Both of them. Yourself. I said... We got everything. Well, well. And then you, uh, excused yourself. Stepped away. Disappeared? Hansen showed up. We chatted. Threats were made, actually. Said if Myers doesn't let up, world will learn about Songbird. About Pierce and the Blackwall. He clearly knows what Somi means to the President. Personal WMD, you mean? Yeah. Hansen knows all. Need to get her the fuck out, Reed. Really. I was afraid of this. Okay. P, Alex and I have work. We need to analyze the data from Songbird. Might take a day or two. Prem, open comms line then? Sure. We'll work out a game plan. Get back to you ASAP. Oh, and V, bang up work. Hey V, recon's in our rear view now. Get yourself ready and meet me at Alex's. Sure. See you there. Two. 
Sarah's got that same thing. Remember last time we had this convo? Ah, V, you're here. It's about time, too. We're nearly done finalizing the plan. Back on the same page, are we? Not exactly. Brings back a lot of memories, all this. One in particular sticks out. Before NC, we worked an op in Colombia. Medellin. Song's Not first now, mission. Alex. We have enough to do without digging up ancient history. What happened in Medellin? What was the up there? We had our sights trained on a guy who sat on the Colombian president's back pocket. Sold him smuggled corp tech. You saying the FIA pulls strings overseas? A lot of what we do doesn't get printed in the norm sheets. Anyway, we used stolen identities on that mission too. Things didn't go exactly as planned, but that's a long story. Think we can spare 60 seconds. Hell, might even learn something about So Me that'll prove useful. All right. Our person of interest was one Luis Hernandez, arms trading heavyweight. We aim to plant our own SA in his organization. Alex had adopted the identity of an engineer from Hernandez's entourage. She was our ticket in. She walks in to attend a meeting one day. She sees one of Luis's bikini model girlfriends prancing out on her way to walk his doberman. Spending big money on Kit's luxury was kind of his M.O. So what happened? Well, Somi had put together Hernandez's dossier. Problem was, an important detail slipped through the cracks. The engineer's abject fear of dogs. Cold sweat, shaky hands, soggy pant leg, that kind of fear. When the Doberman sniffed Alex's knee, she pats him on the head and says, Who's a good boy? Then she went to pull up a chair at Hernandez's table. Before she could sit down, they had two barrels to her head and one trained at the base of her spine. Worked out though, right? We're all here now, together. Hmm, which can't be set for Hernandez and his men. We took any possibility of that from them. All thought of subterfuge went poof. We had to kick the door down. A rival cartel wiped them out. That was the official version. Okay, back to Night City, folks. With our sights trained on a new target. Interesting.
We've parsed the intel from the shard saw me game. It's a solid foundation for the mission we want to run. Surveillance, recon, data gathering, planning, it's all done. It's high time we righted some wrongs of the past. Fuck off, Reed. Give it a rest, will ya? Nothing here's your fault. Woman's an adult, made her own decisions. Consequences caught no, up to her. No, she was manipulated. There was no one around who could have had her back. Here, V. Mission details on this. Alex nailed it. If anyone's to blame, it's Myers, not you. You might be right, but so am I. Right, our objective, to free Somi from under Hans's duress. Unfortunately, this ain't a normal rescue up, because, well, she's been infected with something from beyond the Black Wall, a consequence of her service to the NUS and President Myers. Not about a pretend I understand the tech wise and how. The important thing is, she doesn't get treatment. The cure. The cure is an AI that lives on a neural matrix. Hansen possesses said matrix now. We aim to seize it. All right. Plan. Let me hear it. Hansen to meet with the net runners you already know. The meeting itself is our chance to get close to Song and the Matrix. Hansen hired the French duo because they worked for Militech years back. They know its security protocols inside out. Also, they're selling Hansen access codes. Handy when Songbird goes to extract the Matrix from the Sinusure mainframe. Hansen's gunning for data from what he knows was a secret Militech NUS research project. He has no idea the neural Matrix is in there, too. Runners, scans, and behaviorals we have. Now we just need to take those twins out of the equation. So we kidnap them. How we want to do this? They're driving a rental while in NC, an exploitable opening. We're gonna track their ride and hijack it before they reach Hanson at the stadium. That's where you come in, Pete. We'll need you to breach the rental firm's tracking system. Addicts will fill you in later. Once we have the runners, you'll take their place. The behavioral imprints are tuned already. Brings us to the final stage, right? Meeting with Hansen? Right. Where well, you'll sell him the access codes to the mainframe. In other words, the key to unlocking your medicine cabinet. One of you will join Somi in the lab to feed in the codes when needed. Hansen's likely to keep the other at his side. Collateral. I'll stay with Hansen. You'll join Songbird. Once the data floodgates are open, you'll signal me. Gonna disarm Hansen, take him and his guards out. Sounds like Flatline and Hansen set in stone. Order came directly from Myers. Confirmed at the state. He took a potentially lethal swipe at the president of the NUS. And Songbird. We have to rescue her. Myers told you as much herself. All clear? If you have any questions, now's the time to ask. Things couldn't be clearer. Let's get to work. So, time we talked about Nab and the Runners? Cover that in a minute. Intercepting the runners. How do we do that? They're driving a rental. Plans to break into the rental service system. Karen Exotics. Specializes in rare models. Karen has tracking stations around the city. Gain access to those? We find the car easy. There's a station not far, near Pacifica Serenity Bible Church. Check it out. So breach the station, trace the car. Good, what then? Use this little doodad. It'll pop the locks on the doors, let you take complete control from the trunk. You know, Kabuki's tech wizards sell similar stuff under the counter. Would never call it reliable. Well, fed tech wizards are just more skilled than Kabuki's. Better be. When you think you're near a station, scan your surroundings. They're not concealed. Shouldn't be tough to spot. Get right on it.
Welcome to the N54 News World Report. I'm Jillian Jordan. back on it. First, good news. I managed to upgrade your relics firmware. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Don't worry. Completely painless. First, good news, you said. So there a second thing? Right. It's super important. It stays between us. It's gotta. Proof of my trust. I'm sending you coordinates. Come after dark. We should be able to talk freely. Okay, need to Delta, but see you soon.
Great. Just great. You got a problem, Alex. Gonna take more than breaching one station to recreate the encryption key. Fuck. Give me a sec. Okay, got another station for you to try. Hold on, let me ping the station remotely. Try to save us some time. No response. Think standing around's gonna help? Mm, it might. Let's get to it. Good luck out there. And raise Reed as soon as you grab that encryption key. Looking for something? Won't find it here. There's nothing to find. <sighs> Borked. It ain't working? <gasps> Jesus! You want a hint? I can tell you how to fix it if you really want to fix it. Old people need help with this stuff sometimes. So, yeah, turn it off first, then turn it back on. You know, I can tell you where to look for the on button for a thousand ads. Interested? Okay, Eddie's are all yours. Nova, done deal. So, Switch, where is it? I don't know exactly, around here. Telling you where to look, not where to find it. Just like I said. We'll play hot and cold. If you're close or far, we'll holler hot or cold. Let's start playing. You'll get it. Warmer! 
Warmer! Getting hot! Hop. What the fuck? My BD! No! Got the best fucking bed, too! Jankass power grid? Yo, yo, yo! Don't even think about flatlining here! I ain't gonna touch a corpse! <clears throat> this... This gotta be what having a fucking stroke feels like. Ugh, this fucking sucks! Preaching to the choir. This spot. Didn't pick it at random, I guess. Guessed right. Wanted to show you something. It means a lot to me. Could help put some things in perspective. And it means I trust you. Come over here. So what's so special about this place? Lived just two blocks off while I was here in NC on assignment. Locals come here after sunset. Fire up grills, crack open beers, talk about nothing in particular. Swing by here come evening sometimes. All of it. Every inch is special. Reminds me of Brooklyn. Actually from there.
yearning to go back. Can't rewind the clock, V. By the time you realize you miss something, it's usually too late. Attack on Myers. You schemed it up with Hansen. I know that. Yeah. Neural Matrix was pricey. But honestly, I... I never thought he'd try to kill her. You betrayed her. Not just her. Nothing went according to plan. What a fucking mess. Sent Myers' entire flight crew to an early grave. Myers herself, too, almost. Ground the plane. That was a plan. Didn't expect he'd... blow it to shit. Not much of an excuse, I know. So what was your plan? For you to rescue Myers while I secured the AI Matrix, and for us to run. Now Hansen's changed the terms of our deal. They'll make him answer for the attack, he knows that, so he's covering his ass. The one thing he doesn't know is what's on the Sinusure mainframe. He's hoping it's data he can use as leverage against the NUS. Says that's my ticket to freedom, but as soon as he gets his hands on it, I'm dead. I just know it. I fucked everything up. I know V. But I had no choice. Still don't understand why. Was it any other way? Honestly? Wouldn't have resorted to this if there was. From Myers, the NUSA, I'm just another weapon in their arsenal. A tool for reaching beyond the Black Wall. And weapons and tools? They don't get to make decisions or choose to retire. Burden and past mistakes. We both bear it. It ain't easy. Me for the biochip, you for the Black Wall. You mean to say it's my fault? No, just that when you try to save yourself, it's usually someone else who pays the price. Hmm. Yeah. Ain't that the brutal fucking truth? You're the only one I can trust with this. Only question is, after everything you just heard, you feel the same way about me? The one to ask, actually. What happens exactly, you know, when you reach past the black wall? Know the feeling when you try to remember the address of a place you lived half your life, but it just turns up blank. I mean losing your memory? A snowflake lands on my glove. I can calculate its unique fractal structure. But what did my mom's voice sound like? Sometimes... I... I lose control. Or get the sense I'm surrendering to someone else. But it feels horrible. Felt it too. With the Chimera. Like a living nightmare. Yeah. More and more, I get the sense someone's standing behind me. But there's never anyone there. Don't trust Reed? Guy wants to save your life. Mm-hmm. He saved me once already. Word of a boss shit on Militech crossed his desk, so he knocked on a 19-year-old girl's door with an offer she couldn't refuse. Join and serve, or become a Netwatch trophy. That girl died that day. The person in front of you is what was born from that death. Of course, Reed... He died too. Just more recently. Seven years ago. The NUS issued his death sentence. Yet he serves the country to this day. Clinging to something that's lost all meaning to me. Get the feeling this is the first time you've been honest with me. Yeah. With you and myself.
I need to get away. From Kurt, then USA, Reed. From everything. Night City is just a pit stop along your escape route. That was always the plan, wasn't it? Yeah. It's just... Things got complicated. Messy. Certainly didn't expect my old agency chooms to get involved. Or to find myself caged by Kurt. I'm fleeing, V. Gotta get out. And to do that, I need you. Cause you... You know how it is. Okay. Say I believe you. What's the next step? We go through with the mission, grab the neural matrix. While Reed and Alex grapple with Hansen, we make our getaway. And then... Uh... You helped me skip town. I already cut a deal with the Black Clinic far, far from Night City. There, the Rippers can access the Matrix and use an algorithm to create a prototype of our cure. They'll need me present to run their tests. The moment they're finished, I'll send word. And... that's it. Everything. Like a weight off my shoulders, honestly. Now, I have to ask. You're in this because you understand me? Or because I promised to save your life? Can't be both. You'd fit right in in DC. Just enough truth, but not too much. I'll take what I can get. <sighs> I guess that's all. I suppose you should call Reed. Let him know all set for the meet with Hansen. You made it. Got a head start. A drink to calm the nerves. Appreciate the invite. Glad to see you, Alex. Sweet of you to say. I wrote you cause... Cause I needed someone to talk to. Someone outside the firm. And not some total rando. To take my mind off the mission. Not worry about being someone else for a millisec. Hope that makes sense. Didn't want to be alone with your nerves, huh? <laughs> Always used to tell myself, cut the jitters, Alex, you don't get nervous. But for a while now, I've been trying to be more honest with myself. I just want to be a normal fucking person for a little bit. Myself, specifically. Just me. Just Alex. This happen often. These moments you pine for your old self. Lately, all the time. But I know the old me is long gone. 
I'm a different person now. Somewhere under all these masks. Say, you ever think about who you'd be now if, you know, life had taken a different turn? I don't know. I guess. I'd still be searching, taking it one day at a time, making mistakes along the way. Getting tangled up in trouble, you mean? No doubt. But maybe the kind not out to kill me. Okay, now you. Who would you be, if not a secret agent and master of disguise? An actor. No hesitation there. Always dreamed of seeing my face on a show bill. I love musicals, especially. Seriously? <laughs> Call me old-fashioned. So yeah, guess I'd be a brain dance star. Hmm. <laughs> Ever acted before? Outside your agency assigned roles, I mean. No, not for more than an audience of one. Just dreaming of being under the lights, where everyone's watching me. But I know, and they know, it's all make believe. To your future career. I know you can pull it off. Thanks, V. Really. I love this song. It's never what it seems when it's all I'm ever missing, and it feels as though I'm waiting. And I don't need no head in my hands. No, I'm ever heading way south. I think I'll find it all. Don't do this often, I'm guessing. Cause it's all I'm ever thinking. I don't hear Busted moves. I can't say I do. Well, gave it away. <laughs> Wasn't thinking of dancing, but never mind. We'll see you on BD posters in no time. I know it. First, retirement. Somi contacted me. Got news. Let me hear it. Well, first off, we've been greenlit. Our VIP's ready to be served. Music to my ears. What else? Songbird opened up a bit. Better sitch. It's looking bad. Real bad. This tech's her only shot. I hear you. I do. All the more reason to focus on the mission in front of us. Get our hands on that cure. The hospital and its staff will be operating Agreed. What Sony spilled, we really need to talk. I know, but later. Not a topic for the hollow. It'd be one other thing. You need new chrome. An implant that accommodates behavioral imprints. 
I'm sending you deets for a clinic. The doc will be expecting you. Just tell the Ripper you know she collects unification war trinkets. She'll know you came with my blessing. You, Farida? Yes, and we're closed. Got something might interest you? I doubt it. Here you collect trinkets. Unification war era. Mm-hmm. Come in. I'm sorry I was unwelcoming. Ever since a certain space plane crashed nearby, I've had to be more cautious. V, good to see you. Not giving me any breathing room, huh? Trust an issue. Just looking out. I'm here about Somi. I spent hours wrapping my head around this putting myself in her shoes. I needed to understand what she must have been going through, too. To resort to treason. You're in no position to understand, Reed. Your life ain't on a timer. But I know death. Stared him in the eyes, up close. She's trapped. Not just here and now, but going months back. Hell. Actually, years. I blame Myers, a sore loser. Does her damnedest to avoid it. Songbird, the Black Wall, dirty tricks meant to give her a competitive edge. It's no wonder Somi doesn't trust anyone. Except maybe you. A little. There's a prison cell prepped and waiting for her already. Somi knows that full well. She lives to see tomorrow and every day after. That's what matters. Myers needs her alive, sure, but forgive and forget the attempt on her life. Never. Myers might not forgive her, but it doesn't mean I can. You forgetting? Woman tried to zero you, too. Her hand's been forced too many times in her life. She's due compensation. Okay. We break the chain Hanson wrapped around her neck. Then what? We stow away somewhere safe, ask some questions, establish some common ground. Once I get the answers I'm looking for, I'll personally help her disappear. From everyone, everywhere, including Myers. Spinning quite the yarn playing me. Fits the M.O. of someone who used to recruit spies for a living. Fuck! No! Just listen. I got contacts in Europe. We'll find the best clinic, put you two back together, fix what's broken. Once we have your cure in hand. But I need to help Somi first. She's lost, and I'm concerned she doesn't know what she's doing. You don't trust her? What I don't trust is the shit from beyond the Black Wall and the attendant paranoia. Both in play here, I'm afraid. She has another plan in mind. I'm damn sure of it. 
Read you loud and clear. So what's it all mean next? I have something for you. Our best minds in D.C. cooked it up. Icebreaker. Silver bullet against any fortified netrunner. Farida will feed it into your system during surgery. Use that, and Somi will drop unconscious within a minute. We can't take any chances, and when she wakes up, she'll wake up at home. Okay. How do I use it? Fire it up when you're both jacked into the mainframe. At that moment, Somi's door will be wide open. Sure hope you haven't botched this. Well, that's a hope we share then. Right now, we're focusing on saving your lives. Talking time will come later. It's time I was on my way. I leave you in Farida's able hands. Call me once you're done here. The sooner we begin, the sooner we finish. Okay, no time to lose. Tush, meet chair. Okay, anesthesia incoming. Don't worry, it's the good stuff. Relax and submit. An ID modding implant is complicated tech, true. But the procedure is surprisingly simple. To be honest, never heard of tech like this. Seems kind of... Sci-fi. This an FIA prototype? Mm-hmm. It was picked off the corpse of a Militech R&D project. Militech abandoned it? That, or they sought to keep it off the books. Top secret. Mom's the word. Politics. Okay. Anesthesia's taking hold. How many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> nice to see you in good form. Mm -hmm. You want something from me? To chat. Got no other options. You'll have to do. So tell me, what's it feel like to be a traitor? Interesting way of saying... Undercover FIA agent. Shit, actually butt into this. They send you to a fancy party, stroke your ego, and now you're some kind of super spy? What's next? Fucking gold medal? Ticker tape parade? A statue? A national holiday? Kids home from school? What the fuck? But seriously, found yourself in a shitastic situation. Come on, got iron in your hand. Gotta put it to someone's head. Pull the trigger. The master spy and the agent unloosed. Tragedy, comedy, or both. Think one of them's trying to dupe me? No, they're both telling the truth. I mean, might be muddy on the nitty gritty, but their motivations are plain and clear. Survival. 
It's her be-all and end-all. That, and she's a walking, talking nuke. The kind that keeps making mistakes, never knowing which one's gonna set her off. And Reed? Bastard and me are one and the same. If I hadn't ghosted the army, I'd have become a Reed myself. Live and die by our principles. That's the tragedy, V. Someone's gonna play victim to the other's good intentions. Try not to forget that when you're standing over that fucking overgrown neuro drive. Reed? Or Songbird? What would you do in my shoes, Johnny? I am in your shoes, dumbass. For every gonk choice you make. But I can't do dick. But honest to God, V, not fucking around? I don't know. Got no goddamn clue. All done. The facial morph implant is online. Now all you need is a behavioral imprint. And do me a favor. Don't tell me what you need this for. Thanks for everything. Uh-huh. Right. Hey, procedures are up. V, I hope you're not feeling too raw post for Rita's work. It's time to intercept and supply the netrunners. Just one hiccup. Our access to Karen Exotics was cut. They must have discovered us. Wait, seriously? So we lost them? Not entirely. We know they were last in the city center, headed our direction. Find a vantage point near the entrance of Dogtown. You'll grab a trace on the runners as they drive to the meeting. Sign of their ride. His bounty is now doubled. See a convoy. Hanson's goons. Doubt the runners would have a security escort, though. I'll keep watching. Ah, uh, additional support for the stadium, most likely. Fire without warning. Shortly. Clean so far. No visual on our targets. Still nothing. Got a totaled Cortez blocking the road. Traffic's piling up. First basic, run of the mill. Definitely not them.
couple of bikers. Don't expect they'd swap out four wheels for two last minute. Nah, not this style. On to the next. There they are. No question, both runners are inside. Got the signal? Got it. Not gonna slip off our radar anymore. Good work. Jill's still urging uh, to meet with Hansen. They'll stop to kill time somewhere. If you don't put more, they'd have more. Okay, they're stationary. And out of the car. Walking you as a driver are just fucking stupid! Pete, you're clear to head for the car. Get to it. Don't write you! Chum rammed your bumper up my ass! Oh, oh, who are you shit, holding not for? Good. <laughs> sure as shit is! Give me your deeds so I know who's paying for this damn Here we are. Damn. Free ride. Hey, you're not there at the window shop. Oh. Deja vu. Cam feeds are mine. Good. Last check now. Make sure you're ready to roll. Cams are on. Transceiver is green. She's free for the taking. Now we wait. Our VIPs are back. They're about to get in. Time to focus up. Kurt Hansen, tu l'as vu, non Il était grave en train de me relooker au Saphir. Oh, à moins que ce soit cette putain de gueule de bois. Oh, ça tourne partout, dans tous les sens. T'en penses quoi de Hansen, je veux dire. Ok, V, take control. Hold on, he's dropping a bit. Could get interesting. Oh, il a foutu le feu au cul de tout le monde quand il a abattu cet avion. Le risque est élevé, oui. Mais ce travail paie bien. On fait notre part. Ensuite, on disparaît. Ah, oh, putain de gueule de bois de sa mère. Il a fallu que tu fasses ça aujourd'hui. Je t'avais dit de pas ouvrir cette dernière bouteille. Oui, hey, you copy. Back in the car now. La voiture Quelqu'un en a pris le contrôle Emric, hey, sonne l'alarme On a besoin d'aide Je vais localiser le vecteur. Ok, une seconde C'est fait Putain, allez J'essaie de reprendre le contrôle They're playing defense, and they're good.
Whoa. What the fuck? Fuck! You wiped him! What'd you think we would do? Bind their hands with duct tape, shove socks in their mouths, and wait for them to wriggle free and call for help? This ain't no game, V. It's a simple choice. Them or us. I chose us. Alex, you knew about this! This execution! Of course I knew. Textbook move. Not exactly my first mission, V. Call like that comes with the territory. Right. Greater good. Need to make tough calls. The greater good, the lesser evil. In the end, it's the same. Whatever comforts you and helps you do the right thing. Alright, we have fresh disguises already, but you still need to lift the access codes off them. Aurora's the one to check for those. Right, code's transferred. Taking the wheel. V, behavior imprint, now. Check, check. Oh shit, my voice! <laughs> nice! Hang on, that's me? What the hell? Cream, right? Give it a whirl. Introduce yourself. Huh. Little miracle must do more than morph your face and voice. Gotta fuck with your hormones like a designer drug. Give you hyper-specific highs and lows to change your behavior. Mm hmm Establishes a new baseline. You just gotta say the right words. Okay, here goes. Aurore Cassel. Who the fuck is asking? Hmm, not bad. It can feel like a real trip at first. But you'll get used to it. And take a sec, collect yourself, then we move. Hansen's waiting. Alex, it just hit me. This will be our last stop together. I haven't forgotten our deal. I is green litter. A diplomatic mission. No end date. Call it early retirement. Thanks much, Reed. Okay, let's get to it. Alright, stadium then. See you there. a little refresher before we arrive. Remember, name's Aurore Kessel. Let me let you in on my secret about how to be someone else. Ask yourself three questions. What do they fear? What do they want? What's their deepest secret? Got that? Don't answer now, just something to keep in mind. And be her. So, Aurore, your thoughts on Hansen? Tell me. So what is there to think? The man is a warlord. Big, strong, but disciplined. More important, he pays much too. 
and we have deciphered him. Not bad. Specific, opinionated, but you're lacking some color. Hyperbole, bizarre metaphors, huge ego, horror in a nutshell. We have arrived. The hound's den. Remember, he wants something from us, not the other way around. We're here to sell him Sinoshore mainframe access codes. Stick to the facts. Know who you are and are not. We are here. Let's get this done. with Colonel Hansen. Checking now, need a sec. Good, you made it. We haven't met yet. Name's Murphy. Oh, that's finished this quickly. My hangover is killing me. This way. So, Songbird told me a little about you. Said you two hail from Europe. That's right. And... Did you enjoy yourselves at the Sapphire? Police commissioner, a candidate for mayor, the Tiger Claws bookkeeper. All gambling on the city's future together. Figuratively, and not. The anatomy of corruption is beautiful here. Uh, uh, yeah. Took the words right out of my mouth. Okay, here's our stop. You should expect to have eyes on you all day today. Kurt got a tip. The FIA plans to pull some gonk move. Situation's under control. He ordered everyone checked out, though. No exceptions. Many wish your colonel dead. He must be vigilant. Got our people manning the whole stadium. Drone-aided scans providing surveillance support, too. Need you to leave your weapons here. Next, we'll need to run some ID scans. Joke around as we might, get along as we do. Ultimately, this is a place of serious business. You understand? This here's the heart of our little empire. Ah, how you sell these war machines? 
It's like a car salesman? Kinda, <laughs> yeah. But wholesale only. Suppose you're a dictator from some rinky-dink country. I don't know. Australia, let's say. Tanks, choppers, subs. You want it, we got it. No red tape. You have submarines! Fresh out. But we sure did. All right, I'm in position. Prepare an IEVAC route now. Take your time. I need ten more minutes at least. Not much further now. I couldn't get started earlier without risk of being compromised. And Aurora? It should go without saying. But stay in character. Good luck. Have this you way. Have been since the beginning? Since the op in Night City, you mean? You could say that, but we served together earlier, too. I see. Then he must trust you very much. Pleasure to see you both. Songbird needs a moment to disarm the device. Which gives us a chance to chat. Murphy told us some shit hit the fan. That bogeyman know of us here, of our meeting. We expect it all to be handled professionally. Fee exaggerates, and he spoke out of turn. We have only suspicions, but I assure you, caution is our creed. Oh, Colonel Kurt, you're too tense. I exaggerate. I wished only to see your reaction. <laughs> Are you testing me? You check us out, we check you out. Gert, it is the dance, it is the game, loosen up! Well, someone's trying to play us. Question is, who? Not your FIA, I hope. I'd like to raise a little toast. To a successful day of business. Don't worry about the work, Colonel. Just your health. I must decline. Your loss, little brother. It's changing the subject. Did you enjoy yourselves at the Sapphire? My people tell me the stakes went high. You two left richer and happier, I hope. I thought it a night at a casino, wine and cash until both ran out. But then, this new piece of ass joined our table. Another one. Thanks to them, winner, winner, chicken dinner. The Black Sapphire. My pride and joy. I worked hard to make it the go-to destination for Night City's royalty. Oh, actually, before I forget. I learned recently that we have a mutual friend. She said you did time together at La Sante. Remembers you well. No, no, this is not something I wish to revisit. Not with someone I hardly know. But she very much insisted. Old thieves code and all that. Raquel, asked me to say hello. She did her time under max security, C-block. Said her rat tattoo might jog your memory. <laughs> this Raquel is clearly mistaken. Max security is separate from the VIP wing where I stayed. <laughs> Thank God. Ah, it must have been someone like you. Very much like you. Indeed. How many years have you been in Night City? 
They say you served with Militech once. Seven years now. And yes, before that it was my mission to plant an NUS flag on this soil. Then it appears to be a great success. The things you have achieved here. Impressive. That flag's a piss-soaked pile of ash now. What I built, I built with my own two hands, for me. Why did you change sides? Because I don't need a convenient ideology to hide my business behind. I tossed the flag, but the suits in DC still remember me. President Myers, too? She called just six months ago, in fact. Asked me to help with a mess she couldn't clean up herself. Bureaucracy, red tape, and all that. Interesting. And uh, she calls, still? Not lately. Her administration recently encountered some uh, turbulence along its path. Ah, by the way, at the Sapphire, you asked me to contact a certain fashion type. Remind me who? Ah, oh, the tailor of Carrie Eurodyne. Oh, he is so flavorful. Mm, I must have a taste. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that's the one. The fashion world isn't exactly my forte, so I'll need maybe a week to arrange it. Your sister certainly is the more talkative of you two. You noticed? You compliment each other well. Listen, it seems we've got time to spare. There's another opportunity I'd like to discuss. An expansion into Western Europe. What I need is a reliable partner on the ground. Two would be even better. Hey. Relax, soldier. Hey, you know, Kurt, the arms trade. <laughs> we keep our fingers out of this cookie jar. I see. But all I need is a nudge in the right direction. Some introductions, a little intelligence, one time request. Say, 200,000? Mmm, now I have butterflies. I need an in with Les Collectifs. We are waiting. I'm sorry, Colonel, but you are teasing the wrong cock. Am I? But you're famous in Paris. You must have a connection. Le Collectif and we um, have a history. Like you and your NUSA. We do not uh, make love. No fucking love at all. Aha. <laughs> I see. And appreciate both the honesty and the metaphor. Ah! So me. We can begin. The mainframe is ready. You remember the terms. One of you feeds in the access codes, the other stays with me. I will stay. Shall we? Follow me. So tell me, how do you like NC now that you're back? This holo shell? While you were waiting, I ran some initial diagnostics. The mainframe is prepped and linked with our systems. She's ready to go. You know, he created this lab especially for the occasion. Tens of millions of eddies invested for your visit alone. That's Kurt for you. I have a plan in place for when we secure the neural matrix. I'll hack the local net, override its defense systems, turn the whole stadium hostile. We'll slip out in the chaos. But... how many would die? They'll die so we can survive. Live. I managed to simulate the mainframe's native environment. The bunker. It'll be ready for the access codes in a moment. Listen, B. All hell breaks loose in two minutes. When Hanson flatlines, we haul ass. 
I'll block access to this room. Alex and Reed are minimizing risk and exfilling early via the route. Here she is, in all her glory. Oh, and don't worry about us. Got that sorted already. Check stadium blueprints. No which way to run. So, shall we? No turning back now. No, nope. but we're in this together. Ready. Linked. Is the connection clear? Thousandth of the decimal. It'll have to do. Time to get wet. Actuating the mainframe. Mm, I see. It's responding. Stay sharp. Almost open for input. Big thank you. Really. Thank you for being here. Just a little more. Okay, your turn. It's ready for the access codes. I'm with you, so me. Look toward Alex. Wait for Kurt to go down. Can do. What then? We run. Nearly have the Matrix. Breaching stadium defenses now. It's... a lot. Had to reach past the black wall. Wait, you mean to say, like, the whole stadium? Cutting off the lab now. Carving a path out of here for us. Defense systems are nearly primed to turn on Kurt's forces. Let Alex know. Mm-hmm. Target down. It's done. Stadium defenses. Hostile and online. Hey, Stat, everything all right? Somi, you okay? What's wrong? The Matrix, the, the stadium, the black wall, just lost control for a sec. But, yeah, I'm okay now. V, you need to bolt. Things get dicey. I can help. Pack stuff around you. I just can't push myself. The mainframe breach. Black hole hit me hard. Thank <laughs> you. 
You need to get to a higher level. I can do something. Uh, turret! Use that! the door. We have a moment to catch our breath. Which? Yeah, give me a sec. People up ahead. Uh, ah, the equipment's fine. This other half's lit up like a fucking Christmas tree. We're gonna be down what? At least a couple of days? Ugh, fuck, dude. Try a week? Shit. We need to close down the stadium. Too risky without working systems. Who 
It's them! <laughs> Please, don't hurt us! We won't say a word! Promise! Two cars. En route already. One's for you, the other's for me. Should make us harder to track. Feel it. I'm lightheaded. It's not budging. What's this? Finally! Okay. Jump in. Think I see uh, who that alarm's for. Uh, that huge blast? Gotta be them. Fuck! Fucking eagle! Hansen's dogs could swoop in any savvy. Come on, Zomi. Final stretch. Toward the gate. Carl be there. Thank you, V. It's killing. Gonna mean trouble for us. There they are. All right. That car? Bet you my lucky any it's here for them. That's a dumbass bit. That means you pick it? You got a plan for what comes next. We need to split up. Try to throw off the agency's pursuit strategy. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll confirm my path out of Night City is clear. Once I do, I'll be in touch. Where are we gonna meet? And when? I'll send you the coordinates. Just wait for my sig. And don't get caught. Hey, likewise. V, thanks.
My husband and I, we need a somewhat delicate matter handled. We think you could help. Why call me a vault? Any particular reason? You came recommended. Yahoo, bye. I'd rather not say. Not over the phone. Is there any way we could meet? Discuss some details? Sure. Let's do that. I'll send you the address. See you.
right Murph for the gig. My man will take care of the rest. Check the drop points for reward. Just don't spend it all on XPDs and glitter. Holding up, like mentally. Yeah. We should talk. Face to face. Yeah. Nova. Heavy hearts, here I come. And don't drag your feet. You won't be disappointed. My, my, aren't we confident today? Hey. And nothing without your help! Check out Ronald Generators! Filters! to inter-clan dispute.
Town without the Colonel. Can't hardly imagine it. Oh, please, brother. He a common thug. Not even that. Not no more. Worm foods, worm Don't food. Ah, at last. I lacked the time to brew tea. My apologies. Face to face again? What's changed? Everything. And that's what we'll discuss. Kurt Hansen. A man of many hats. A criminal, dog of war. To mine eye, an entrepreneur. And business suffocates in a vacuum. Vultures circle the Colonel's corpse already. The Enterprise he built must choose a new leader. We will make certain they choose correctly. The Shard, please insert it. Let me guess. Got a successor all lined up, don't you? Lieutenant Colonel Bennett, one of Hansen's most loyal, commands respect, is capable of rallying a strong base. The logical choice, this gentleman soldier. Alas, he has competition. A man named Yago. He's starting from a lower rung, but has high aspirations. He's already begun seeking outside support from the Voodoo Boys. You will meet with Yago. You will convince him to back down. Okay, I'll handle that. No, you won't. But Aguilar will. Uh, you lost me. Hansen remained on top because he had the contacts to stay afloat. Most important among them was a Cuban cartel. Enter Aguilar, a merc assassin from Havana, a living legend. Every time someone in Havana lights a cigar, Aguilar extinguishes a life somewhere around the globe. I'm lucky to have her behavioral imprint on hand. You're lucky to have experience with the tech already. Let me summarize. Need me to assume Aguilar's identity? Have a chat with Yago. Talk him out of any silly ideas he might have. Child's play. Okay. All's crystal. I prepared a shard with helpful intelligence. Also a weapon. The same Aguilar uses. Help yourself to both. Mm -hmm. Interesting piece of iron. Custom made. A unique and highly persuasive tool. Time to kick the tires, V. Suit up and take the imprint for a whirl.
feel the difference? Seriously, Hans? You make me your guinea pig for untested tech? Thought you valued your well-being more than that. Hmm. Better than expected, V. Or rather, Aguilar. You'll make a strong impression on Yago, too. A trusted source tells me he's to meet soon with a delegation of the Dogtown Voodoos. I'll forward the coordinates. Wow. I care not at all for how you handle the Gangoons. <laughs> As you will. I have only one request. Yago withdraws his candidacy. Once you've shown him reason, call me. And remember, my district's future is riding on this. Don't worry, won't disappoint. That is the hope. Good luck.
I'm waiting. <sighs> Time to go Cuban. Y 
désolé. Allez, ça c'est pas territoire. I have good news. We will talk. I will not shed your blood. A very good deal. Mwen fou t'aveti ou? Is it Iago you await? He's not coming. Havana has removed him from the picture. Catella? Is it la? Here, yes. But I have no quarrel with you. What happens next is your choice. Jacob Feb. Il pral rencontre sa le mérité yon jou. Assez. Pas voli. En allez. Gotta wait for the man. Out in the open. Ah, wanna face off, do you? Aguilar, you saucy senorita. There they are. Gonk's got no clue what's coming. Think I'm gonna shed a tear. Something ain't right, boss. And you are... I answer with my own question. Do you know what happens when... Somewhere in the world... Aguilar takes a life. So they say. Do you know what else they say? That you have angered the wrong people. We know of your plan to oust Bennett. We know of your new allies. The Voodoo Boys? Poor choice. My superiors follow Christ, Yago. I... I never intended any disrespect. What happens now? I spoke with the Voodoos. They understood their lives are worth more. Now I speak with you and wonder about the value of yours. Aguilar, please. It's not what you think. May I explain, at least? Very well, but be quick. Bennett is an Arasaka pawn. They courted him until he cracked. Then they waited. They needed the Colonel to die. I don't know what they promised him, but I do know what they want. Control of Dogtown. You have proof of Bennett's deception, I trust. Know where to find it? He goes to the city center often, Republic Way. The building's a front, occupied by a dummy corp owned by Arasaka. As to Bennett's biz there, ask him, press him. You'll see him, right? Please pass my gratitude along to your superiors. Let's go. Plot thickens. Once they're gone, uncloak for your face melts like Scott Chaco. Just getting started, Johnny. Guess you ought to keep hands in the loop. Or... We could see what his favorite son's cooking up with fucking Arasaka. After all, Dogtown's future hangs in the balance. Well played, Aguilar. High five, mi hermana Cabana.
fuck out of here, man. Really? Really? You're a disappointment, V. To me, to Saul. We could have helped her. We, together. It was her choice, Saul. You're helping a traitor who took a potentially lethal swipe at the NUS president's life. Sorry, Reed. Made my decision. Not gonna backpedal. You don't get it. It's not about you and me anymore. You two are enemies of the NUSA. We, the FIA, we're gonna find you too. You have exactly nowhere to run, V. Wouldn't have fucking called if this was over and done, Reed. Is some negotiation tactic? We're long past that, V. I'm saying we'll see each other soon. You, Song, and me. Get it? And I'll expect you to mend your ways then. Jeez, thanks for the heads up. Remember, you've taken responsibility for her. When we find you, when, it's not gonna be about whatever deal you two think you've made. High time Aguilar had a word with Bennett. Ain't our guy that. Probably his hustle. Take him out now, just in case. Save yourself the headache later. Don't like this at all. <laughs> Tell you what Aguilar did. Dump the body, stat. Then wait for Bennett in the ride. Get the jump on. Unmarked tactical units in Dogtown. Gordon, let's roll. But what a grind. Japanese suits have their neckties tied. Wait, who? Yeah. 
Oh fuck, Aguilar! So you know now how the Japanese tie their neckties. Do you know the Colombian way? The Colombians cut open your neck, pull your tongue out through the hole. It sounds complicated, but I've had plenty of practice. Aguilar, please, listen to me. I know what this must look like. This fuckhead Yago. Your accountant. Hmm. He's trying to cut me out. Arasaka's promised to have my back. All they want in exchange is access to our smuggling routes. No. What they seek is control of your smuggling routes. Only a fool would think otherwise. I'm out to secure the future. For my organization. For your bosses. And if Yago was not a problem? Perhaps I've spoken to him already. Perhaps he has realized the error of his ways. A slippery leech, that one. I know a lie when I hear one. I know Yago did not lie. He will support you, as will I. <laughs> well, now that's a different story. One Cuban in my corner is worth more than ten Arasaka boardrooms. Agreed. We have a deal. I'll forget about the Japanese. One last question. Where the fuck is my driver? You should forget about him, too. Prem work, Aguilar. Time for a breather, though. Considered. As indeed. Also, voodoo boys are out of the equation. Splendid. Have you anything else to add? Yup. That we've been it too. Man's a sock puppet. Sock his hand up his ass. Don't worry. I pulled him off, ironed him out. For good, I hope. Huh. It's not something I asked you to do. But I do appreciate it. Bennett is still superior to Yago as a candidate. What now? Time to pay tribute to the Fallen. Aguilar will attend Hansen's funeral service and ensure a smooth transfer of power. Uh-huh. Sounds like you expect trouble. Such events can trigger geysers of raw emotion. No two people grieve alike, and rarely rationally. Ceremony and Wake both at the Black Sapphire. Aguilar should enter without a hitch. Got it. Leroy more. Vive Leroy. Good luck, V. Hey, V. Ready for this? Don't sound so hot. Sure you're all right? I'm not quite. It is what it is. Okay. Should I be worried? <sighs> Won't help if you do. Just... Do your part. Grab us a ride. I'm parked. Sending you the courts. Join you soon. are going seeing dark spots it's hard to breathe 
Wanna help? Tell me how. What the hell took so long? So, yeah. Talk to Reed. Huh. And? A bit of lecture and a few FIA-backed threats thrown in. You know the drill. Ah. Uh, negotiating by the book. That's what everybody at the firm called it. Think Reed cares about you. Truly. Has a use for me, maybe. But one use only. To feel good about himself. What he's doing. So young, yet so jaded. You're so tiny, said the Picobot to the Nanomech. <sighs> Let's roll. Seems you've got a plan after all. To help us both. I do. And it relies heavily, if not wholly, on you. Black Clinic, remember? It's on Luna. Got a flight all lined up to get me there. Wow. Quite the coup. Coup, Shmo. It's my last resort. In all likelihood, I'll serve as their lab rat once there. AI's within the neural matrix. They're going to extract it. Create a prototype cure for us. I'll contact you. As soon as they're ready for us both. I promise. Well, be a waiting word. So, space flight means spaceport. NCX, it's where we're heading. Now, I can't just stride in. I draw attention from who knows who in my condition. So you'll stride in. Then head to the Tycho Terminal. Find a side door to open for me. What about spaceport security? Tycho Terminal's being renovated. So not many bodies. Lots of cover. Also minimal security, probably. Can't ignore that factor. Think you might be too weak to net run solo. Let me share my personal with you. All this shit's too much. Damn, V. I've wronged so many. Hurt so many. Can't help wondering if it's even avoidable. You know? Hurting others? Expect it's hard as hell, but yeah, possible. Hmm. Your feet. I uh, relax. Read. All good. V. Yeah. I don't want to die. Can't help but regret. I just... Help me... Ditch this town. Meds are kicking in. You're all right. We shouldn't linger. Grab the wheel. Could you? Try and rest up.
jail yourself. I'll be pulling in. Thinking back to that first contact you made. We've come a long way. I haven't quite reached this end yet. Obviously, you can't be packing when you go in. Standard spaceport security. Leave your iron with me. I'll have it when we meet up again. Maybe I mask up. I mean, Reed does know my face. If I tag you by the tech sig as you went through security. Sure should hope I don't run flat into some FIA snoop. They're agents of a foreign government operating in the free city. Illegally. Have to behave like puppy bots set to easy obedience mode. So again, Tycho Terminal. Get there unnoticed by anyone who matters. Eyes peeled for orbital air guards especially. We can't know what they'll be watching for. Join up soon. <laughs> Orbital Air welcomes you to LCX, Night City International and Transfer. Orbital Air welcomes you to LCX, Night City International and You need to stay calm, sir. Okay, I found the contact for tonight. You've no right to stay in your boat. Organic and cyber. The Mr. Stud does not qualify as a weapon. Welcome to Night City International and Translunar, your gateway to the world and the stars. I need to temporarily power down any unauthorized implants, personal link, and the panel, please. Rain, of course. Be chill, draw no attention. Implant power down, complete. For biometric ID authentication, please look at the camera. Wait! Don't yet! Buy me some time. Need to link your metrics to a fake profile. Uh, which cam would that be? That one. I'm not sure what you want me to do. Look at the camera, please. It'll be over in a few seconds. All set. Go ahead. Do it. Scans all good. Over to there. Thanks you for your cooperation and your patience. Okay, now you need to let me. Apologies. Tycho I couldn't give a shit. Go. Apology to our no viewers. Eyes. Opening ceremony, like coverage. That's Sheesh, what they expect. She came starting a few hours. That's hours. <laughs> what about a firefight? Could break out any sec. They're none the wiser. Fake, you're standing price. there, imagining the preen boobs they're gonna glue on you out in orbit. Next thing you know, down, the panic herbs trampled. Same thought you had at Arasaka Tower as you pulled the pin on the bomb. Careful, I can this sting too. Expect a call from Mr. Got some work to finish. Come on. Friend left a gift for us. Uh, it's in a case on the luggage conveyor. Mm. Grab it. Sending you the call. Box. Another war is in the air. I'm telling you. Perales will take a stab at annexing Dogtown, and US won't stand for it. All the better. What is a good bits? Profits will rain down.
win these ones, huh? The next Fucking needs better tech. That and better techies. We need spots like this in a crowd. Keeps the panic. Carnage virtually guaranteed. Go for that side or back door. Minor clusterfuck. Forget back inside doors. We need a new plan. What the hell's up, Song? I had a skedaddle. Orbital security started sniffing around the van. God damn it. Got it. Let's try the roof. Construction site elevator. Roger. Find it.
What? Where now? Now we get creative. Need deeds. I managed to reach the roof. Lower bit, though. Need your help to climb higher and join you. Shape you are in? Can't possibly hope to walk a high water. It's 120... 30 feet. Oh. Doable. Better look around. Move it, B. Rain's Scan the roof for something. Short. Did you just eyeball that? Oh. Hardy har har. <sighs> Fire hose. So me. Got an idea. Catch song. Let me know when you're ready. soon. Thanks in no small part to you. Your weapons. No gun, no fun. Thank you. 
Hold up. What is it? Catching a radio sick. Shit. Encrypt a channel. Can you breach? Listen in. Giving it a shot. Need to move on quietly, V. Another fuck up and we're done for. Hey, did what I could. Have to try harder. Sly and smooth. This away. Oh shit. Sigs. An NUS comms frequency. Myers. Incoming. Four to five sacks. No more. In here. Quick. Fuck me. FIA will find us. Reed said so. Hasn't yet. Let's keep it that way. Fuck. She's on board. They're gonna land. Get it open. Sony, get inside! Got control of the van. Got one of the blades. I'll squeeze through. Combat choppers buzz in the free city of NC. Shit's heating up. NCS is not technically part of NC. X territory. Neutral zone. This is Myers basically blowing off international law and agreements. Got a light ahead. Security. Hold up a sec. Alert now. Eyes and ears. Shit. Madam President. Special Agent Reed. We've confirmed V's presence here at NCX. FIA must have been on you since you went through security. And so to me? Move. Go. They're gonna spot us. Probably too weak to get around on her own. Most likely she's waiting somewhere. Concealed. Most likely. Just doesn't cut it. Does Orbital Layer know the stakes? They triggered the alarm but failed to find V. And our agents? Cover's been blown on a handful. OA won't get a word out of them. I guarantee it. Those still undercover are looking for Songbird. We'll talk about operational errors later. Asking for help never was your strong suit. So I decided for you and brought support. I have everything under control. No, Saul. You lost control way back. It's time you acknowledge that. Ah, oh, Rosalind Myers. Her true face. Fuck the one on her billboards. I know you care about the girl. Like her. You recruited her, trained her. I get that you want to protect her, but your duty, first and foremost, is to your country. Songbird made her choice. Now she needs to learn what the consequences are. There's one more thing, Saul. The project she was part of stays well under wraps. None of it leaks. This is bad. Really bad. If our little bird lands in the wrong hands, I don't want to think what will happen. All that. We're the only ones privy. It would destroy the NUS. It's not a risk I'm willing to take. We're on the same page. No risks. That's how it'll be. Do you hear that? Just so you know, this isn't any easier for me, Reed. I liked the girl. Trusted her. But with some choices, there's no way back. Choices? Yours or hers? Say again? You heard me. No matter. I know what I have to do, and I'll do it. 
I authorize you to take any and all necessary action. Just try not to shoot her in the head. Might have expected as much. You heard her. Yes, sir. We are fucked. Every which way possible. Didn't think Reed would fold that easily. Sell out straight. I was afraid to trust him. Just couldn't. Understand why now? Think he plain lied? Said he wanted to help you, stressed it. Was lying to himself. Desperate to believe he wouldn't have to choose between me and Myers. But his and the NUS's national conscience, one and the same. Let's ghost. Civilians are being evacuated. Uh -huh. Prepping to blow in here with all they got. Okay. Back to the terminal now. We need to delta through fast, before all hell breaks loose. Train right to the launch pad. That's all. Just need to blast through the Tycho terminal first. Fire! Myers assault team. Shit show starting. NUSA versus orbital air. The fuckers fire. bleed each other out. Done yet. Don't get killed.
Heads up! There's breath, Thad. Dad, they spotted us. V, if that chopper gets a lock on us, we'll be as good as dead. Do our damnedest to avoid it, then. No peeps. Take point. All clear. Oh, that's spinning. Hang for a sec. Could take a look at your chrome. Is that even safe? Most of your sub-assemblies, I'm familiar. Could run auto-diagnostics, grant you access to your bios. Got a readout. I can overclock the compensators. Hope they can take it. It was gonna be different, all this. Smoother. But the goal's what counts, right? Not far off. So, unscheduled flight to Luna. How much these days? A convo including a few secrets. Ah, uh, of the state variety? State variety, personal variety. In my case, unified. Blackwell, that the issue? Mm, and other things. Rather not talk about it. Just don't judge me, okay? Ever tell you I think troubles just gravitate your way? Like stink to a monkey, I swear. Hidden talent, I say. Let's get our shit together. Come on. Help me out, can you? Huh. Looking a little better. You mean that? So? Hop in the train now. Straight to the launch pad.
Control tower now, V. I'll bring a train in. Take point. You never know. Hmm. Too quiet for comfort. Watch out! Shit! Trap! I'm not falling for it. Get out of sight. Train to bring into the station. What now? I'll fire up the control panel. Bring the train in. Remember, train's probably got a service subnet. It's bound to be slower by eons. Not suggesting you use it. Suggesting you gate it off. Outflanking maneuver? Possible. I'll drop an ice drape on the junction. Let's do this. Good luck, Sung. Control panel. Bring the train in. What do you want me to do? Watch my comfort zone. Keep it clear. Of Meyer's minions. Sure. Let's do this. Good luck, Sung.
Joy right ahead, but link up. Do it. Let me help. Lean on me. Got a train to catch. Fuck, that hurts. It's got I know so me, but you killed it. Saved our asses. V. Hear that? It's the Black Wall. No fear, Song. Right here with you. soon. Finally. <sighs> Still with me? Holding up? Uh... Myers just doesn't let up, does she? She has made her life about achieving goals. Turned herself into a kind of machine. Wow. You admire her. The pushing forth... Never looking back. It used to piss me off. Now, wish the future was all I could think about. Listen to the hum. Wish I could fall asleep. Never to wake again. Don't you doze off on me. Rhea... ...had a dream about him recently. A repeat. Same damn nightmare. About that same damn train. Him dying because of what I did. Just a bad dream, Song. I had my orders. I executed. Orders from Myers. Sounds ridiculous now. Years on, he's still her loyal hound. And I can't get away fast enough.
History. Water under the bridge. Not worth dwelling on. Hmm. I can't stop thinking about it. Actually, I think Reed forgave you. Reed's not the only one I've betrayed. Mine's wandering song. Black wall, gotta be. Neural matrix V. Can only be used once. Once? How so? It's a captive AI from beyond the wall. Relies on continuous evolution to exist. I'll free it and end the process. It'll then execute my commands and disintegrate irretrievably. How long have you known this? That only one of us could come out alive? Sino, sure. I learned it existed, started delving in. Fuck me. I... I think... I think... I'm gonna die soon. The regret... wasn't honest with you. I'm sorry. told me the truth would have helped you anyway song hot diggity fuck color me impressed berg took everyone for a ride myers hansen reed you having some fun with me are you no i'm fucking serious it takes character to be a bastard front to back and inside out. Believe me, I know. Woman's obsessed, determined to a fault. That earns my respect. Fuck all that. Thing is, you and me are back at square one. Still have that problem. Finding some way to save ourselves. Could always call Reed on the hollow. I think he'd kill me. Damn, globe-sized ego, V. You mean zilts to him. One, just one person he's gunning for. Well, nice to drop in and shoot some shit, V. High time you woke her, though. Damn sorry, Song. I am. But you dicked me first. What? Songbird. Still want her? Huh? Turning your back on her now? Okay. Name your price. I'm all ears. Want just one thing. To survive. Live on. Just one dose. One instance of the cure exists. Song decided to keep it, but left me with nothing. I see. So Songbird for me, and one dose for you. Need the cure and the rippers who know how to use it. Mention contacts in Europe, personal ones. In Europe, at Langley too. The NUSA specialists are top of the game. They'll pull the data for you, then operate. Do we have a deal? Deal. Take her. But don't fucking let me die. Launch pad's in sight. Almost there. I know. I'm waiting. Wakey, wakey. End of the line. Come on. Time to go.
get this shit done. Hold up there. One more step and you're dead. Damn sorry, Song. What? Songbird. Still want her? Huh. Turning your back on her now. Okay. Name your price. I'm all ears. Want just one thing. To survive. Live on. Just one dose. One instance of the cure exists. Song decided to keep it, but left me with nothing. I see. So Songbird for me, and one dose for you. Need the cure and the rippers who know how to use it. Mention contacts in Europe, personal ones. In Europe, at Langley too. The NUSA specialists are top of the game. They'll pull the data for you, then operate. Do we have a deal? Deal. Take her. But don't fucking let me die. Launch pad's in sight. Almost there. I know. I'm waiting. Wakey, wakey. End of the line. Come on. Time to go. me about her, damn it. Turned out to be a straight con. Or not worth dying for. Betrayed Myers? You? Then came my turn. She was my friend once. Who she is today, I don't know. And I won't be the one to judge her. Prom? Taking you home, Sony. Taking you home. Area secure for landing. No, we will not do that. We grab the girl and go. Hmm. Thought about how you're gonna spend your 30 pieces of silver? I'll be in touch. Don't keep me waiting. Take damn good care of Song. Right? You owe her that. And you do well to forget her. And all of this, entirely. I was just thinking to myself. Were you now? Dunno, I mean, fuck. Now I kind of feel sorry for the chick. Forgetting someone, June. Ever shed a tear for my fate? My shit luck? Oh, you're royally fucked. True. But at least you're not alone in facing it. Hmm. Just might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Don't get used to it.
Aguilar. Shit, V. Got me on the edge of my seat. Get this show on the road. Cuban cartel? Here? Aguilar, in honor for all of us. Take me to Bennett. He came with extra security. Got a bad feeling. Aguilar, what a surprise. I understand you've met. Havana sends its condolences. The news of Colonel Hansen's death shook us all. I'm sure the Colonel would appreciate your goodwill. You're dismissed. I met earlier with the Lieutenant Colonel. We had a lovely conversation, talking of this and that. In the end, we both agreed Dogtown needs a strong leader. That leader will be Bennett. The people here heed his words. As will you, Yago. Oh, until when? Until you leave town and he's free to stab me in the back? I want names, contacts, Connections, your informants in the NCPD, everyone on your payroll. Ridiculous. You will prove your loyalty to me. No, Bennett. If you would unleash hell upon Dogtown, just know this pistol will be the first hound out of it. I don't think that's necessary. I would like us to lay our cards on the table. That is the wild card. I give a finger, you ask for the hand. Alas, 
I have only an itchy trigger finger left to offer. Our future prosperity depends on a show of your goodwill. Only my personal opinion, of course. Perhaps if you do not agree, I could persuade you. Fucking fine. We have a deal. Hope I won't regret it. Havana has eyes everywhere. Behave, both of you. All of you. Or I'll be back. Dog-eat-dog dog world, I guess. What's that make dog town? A warning to you, Silverhand. One you will heed. Take a bow, V. Had our fun, but it's time we send Aguilar off with a heartfelt adios. No estoy de humor. Adios, Aguilar. It's been real. It's an apex predator. Gonna make a fine new handsome. With a sensible partner at his side, he stands to achieve more than Hansen ever could. Marvelous work, V. Worth every any and more. That'll be all for now. I'll be in touch. with fewer question marks over their heads, but Maldonado offered extra, 
Thus, an exception was made. I'd like you to see him. See what this is about. Details attached. You there! I want a quick game! Uh, Michael Maldonado? V. Hand said you needed a... a hand or something. Oh, it's you. Over here. Let's talk. Glad you could make it. Fixer said you can turn around even the most hopeless of cases. How hopeless we talking? It's about my son, Eric. Boy runs a motorcycle repair shop in Haywood. Totally legit operation. Taxes, permits, you name it. But this DA, Georgina Zembinski, she needs her pound of flesh. Wants to turn him into an example. That's where you come in. Why would she have it in for him? There's gotta be a reason. She's the DA. If she wants a reason, she'll find one. Zembinski said she's after some Valentino kingpin. Hector Sacristan was the name, I think. What's Eric got to do with it? Word is, he knows Sacristan. Has heaps of dirt that could bring him down. But for that, she needs Eric behind bars. So, she forced me to testify. Now I need you to make it go away. You testified against your own son? What kind of father does that? It ain't like you think, okay? I... I really didn't want to. She showed me her so-called evidence against Eric. Wanted me to corroborate it. It was bullshit, every last word. Two days later, came back with some badge. Beat the shit out of me, threatened worse for Eric. Then they put me in front of a camera and I... I told them what they wanted to hear. I was fucking scared. Just go talk to her, you know, the way you people do. Eric's a good kid. To get eaten alive in prison. Not if I have anything to say about it. Gonna find her. Have ourselves a little chat. <sighs> That's a relief. No hands would toss me, some bush nigger. You'll find her at the Heavy Hearts Club. Perfect place for plotting and scheming. And you know that how? That's where she invited me for our... heart to heart. by yourself? Where's Wolf? Looking for a customer of yours? D.A. Georgina Zimbinski. Know her? Can't say I do, but if she's some kind of big shot, probably find her in the booth. Have to ask Jack, though, and him you'll find in the can. As in, like, the shitter? That can? Mm-hmm. Where he does his biz. Where the magic happens. Maybe he'll know her. Uh, okay. Thanks. Listen, Jack, that Biotechnica suit's supposed to come tomorrow. You know, Sunflower Guy. Hey, what's good? Looking for something?
Looking for someone. Girl tending bar told me you're the go-to. Nah. Helen needs to learn to keep her trap shut. Georgina Zimbinski, Night City DA. Ring any bells? Nah. I could have called upstairs and asked, though. You do that? Oh, slow down. Times it is in all that jazz. Do you what I'm saying? No few suppliers in NC. Not to mention Chooms working doors for the city's primest clubs. Want to expand your enterprise? Or you could tend slinging dope in this dump for the rest of your life. Huh. Of course, tempting. Fine. Keep your ads. I'll consider it an investment in my future. Hey, baby. I'm looking for a clan of ours. Georgina Zimbinski. Yeah. Right. Okay, thanks. My girl saw her. Say she's schmoozing with some heavy hitters. Booth four. I'll check it out. Thanks. Hello, Georgina Sabinsky. Careful with that one. Lawyers are not to be trusted. There are any kinds of people worthy of your trust? Of course. Sound technicians. Sure of it. What happened? The hell does it look like? Shit bags threw me out of VIP. Shithead bouncers don't know who they're dealing with. They're gonna throw me out? Me? Did my fair share of VIP treatment. Bouncers get it wrong sometimes. Just go there, tell them who you are. Bound to get an apology at least. You some kind of shrink now? Works for me is all I'm saying. Bullshit! So why do you waltz in behind the bar and have them carry your VIP ass upstairs? Cause I'm done dealing with those Neanderthals. Now somebody get me a fucking drink! Look, uh, I don't talk to people I don't know.
Now what? Better look around. Visitor. Told you those pops wasn't the music. Georgina Zimbinski. Who are you? Need to talk to you about Michael Maldonado. That drunk? What about him? Claims he was forced to testify against his son. Need you to wipe it. He wants me to... That cowardly two-faced sack of shit. See? Told you he couldn't be trusted. What exactly did he tell you? Your good here forced Mike Maldonado to testify. I think she means you, Hank. Did you do any shock therapy on Mr. Maldonado recently? Yeah, like I don't got better things to do. Kidnapping, extortion, arson, armed robbery. Guess whose rap sheet that is? Eric Maldonado is textbook ganger scum. He belongs in prison. We just needed someone to help him get there. His father, Michael, didn't think twice about choosing Eddie's over his lowlife son. All clear, I guess. So Eric's past justifies forging testimonies? Teach you that at law school? This is the real world. You want justice? Need to nudge it in the right direction. Maldonado doesn't care about his son. He's scared Eric will find out it was his old man who snitched on him. Of course I can make it so that never happens. I'm listening. Why don't you watch Michael's testimony first? Witness the truth yourself. Final question. On May 16th of last year, Eric Maldonado contacted you by holocall. During your conversation, he admitted that Hector Sacristan shot and killed Marcos Ferreira. He also stated that Sacristan ordered Ferreira's body to be dumped in the Coronado Bay. Can you confirm this is what Eric told you? I... Yes. Yes, I confirm. Excellent, thank you. That will be all. Michael didn't bat an eye when he accepted payment for that testimony. Real entrepreneur. I'll cut right to the chase. I'm offering to anonymize Michael's testimony. Eric will never be the wiser. And if I refuse? Wouldn't advise it. Wouldn't be, uh, safe for you. Fine, deal. Don't trust you, but that goes double for Mike. And done. Testimony's anonymous now. Your client can sleep easy. Ah, <sighs> well then, everyone wins. Except for Eric, of course. Long as my client's happy.
V, how'd it go? Am I finally gonna get a good night's sleep? Spoke to the DA. Scrubbed your name and data from your testimony. Wait, what? Well, that's not what... She was supposed to delete it. Forget about your payment. This wasn't part of the deal. Oh, no. You'll pay. Job's done. Your son will never find out who squealed on him. So? What did that bitch say? Everything and more. But don't fret. Your secret's safe with me. My silence, on the other hand, doesn't come cheap. Shut up and pay. I... Tired of just looking at you. Just... Just go. Oh, yeah? just got off the hollow with Mr. Maldonado. He was most certainly not pleased. Not to mention you provoked a shootout at the club. You see, I intended to award you a little bonus, but I'm redirecting them to grease the hands of Hansen's men. You are the master of your emotions, V. Remember that.
Clear to talk? More trouble, Reed? No, nothing's wrong. No trouble. I'm on my way out of Night City. I'd like to meet up, face to face. True to station out South Caliway. Reed? Okay. Hey, Judy, what's up? V, can you come over, Stat? Something happen? Yeah. Just come.
Any available units? Roger that, Dispatch, but we'll need backup. Dispatch, you there? Damn it! Hey, I don't think I know you. I'm Claire. Might not remember me. Bartender at the Afterlife? Uh-oh, forgot to close my tab. Or has a buzz about you lately? As the Merc who's reliable, gets things done. And since I need help... Okay. Need a driver for street races. Drop by my auto shop, I'll tell you more. Your garage, where is it? In Arroyo, on Valley. Lovely spot, you can't miss it. All right, try not to. If I'm not there when you arrive, just hang. I'll show up after my shift at the after. Okay, see you, Claire.
Nick of time. Minutes on, you'd have found my tracks. That's it. In a hurry to get out of Dodge? Should have warned me. We might have just missed each other. Maybe I was hoping for that. I'm needed in D.C., or so I'm told. Long-ass way to drive, June. Well, trains just rub me wrong. Besides which, I need time to think things through. Lots of things, lots of time. This self-punishment? Penitential path? Cheap motels as contemplation stations? I ain't no saint, that's sure. Okay, Reed, what's on your mind? What you need from me? I can't sleep. I'm trying to break things down. Keep asking myself. And... I don't know, but maybe you do. Show me. Up there in Space Force One. She raised you on the hollow, not me. Why? Song knew she couldn't take you for a ride. He just knew her too well. You two'd been close. Think it's true? Her now was not the woman I worked with way back when. Banished from her life for seven years. Left her to her own devices. Contact would have been unwise, so impossible. I played the role I had to. Song knew the truth, though. Knew full well you were no traitor. Well, as I saw it, I was protecting her. Know what your problem is? You find it damn hard to just let go. Open to some advice? Stop torturing yourself with shit you can't affect, let alone control. Hmm. Time for me to fly. And honesty much appreciated, V. You deserved it, Saul. Await contact. I'll ring you when the surgeons are ready. Poor fucking bastard. Feel sorry for him? You? Dunno, maybe. Guy's bankrupt, all out of hope. Gonna hang himself. You'll see. Had seven years to do that and didn't. He's got a chance to turn his life around now. Chum lost everything. Literally. Just hasn't realized it. Yet. His president proved herself a war criminal. His friend flipped him a fucking club-sized bird. His ideals, bottom of a cesspit, choking on shit. He'll hang himself. Surgeons have devised the right mineral matrix command. You ready to kick that construct to the curb? Good. Be honest now. 
How successful will this stand to be? This hemisphere's top surgeons are waiting to help you. It'll work, rest assured. Okay. Yeah. I'm ready. An FIA AV can pick you up, Stat. I just need a meeting point. Preferably secluded. Place called Misty's Esoterica. Roof of the building. Right. We'll be standing by. Say you told the FIA to stick their offer where the sun don't shine. Just don't make the call to read. We'll find another way. Do what now? Message. Didn't see it? They want to wipe me. Need me to explain the ins and outs? You knew I'd fight for my life to the end, no matter the price. As obvious to you as it was to me. Call me a chump, but I never thought I'd be that price. Come on, V. Don't make the call. Figuring out something that might work versus a surgical procedure. Choice is clear, Johnny. Raisin Reed on the hollow. Meeting point. You there? Bet I am. Actually eager to be clinic bound. AV's on his way. It won't be long now. So this is how it ends. We're gonna argue about this again. Can we please not? Got my pride, V. Not about to beg for my life.
James Weiss, FIA. I guess you're V, is that right? If I may? It's an honor to meet the woman who rescued the president of the NUSA. So, hang on. Everybody know about me and Myers? What about plausible deniability, burying shit, whatnot? Officially nothing happened, but water cooler talk goes deep within the FIA. Word spreads. Where's Reed? Didn't make the trip with you? He got held up on assignment. Not to worry, you're in good hands. Come on inside. Doc Lozano will evaluate your condition, make sure you're stable. Expecting nothing but the NUS's finest, Mr. Weiss. Lozano, pleasure. I'll be among those operating on you. Let's start with a quick nervous system scan. You mind giving me your personal link? Hope there's enough of those tatters left to scan. The damage is apparent, but looks fixable. Yet another new lease on life. Mind opening the door? Wanna enjoy the view? Don't worry, you'll be back here in no time. Can never be too sure. Just open it. You shook my hand, Weiss. Indulge me? City. Most reliable of late capitalism's human meat grinders. Survived it once? Do well to remember that. If you ever tossed back in again. Don't feel like I lost, though. Shame. Maybe you oughta. Why? Because I finally got what I fought tooth and nail for. V, you crapped out. Congrats. Can feel proud of what you've become. What the hell you want from me, Johnny? Acknowledgement, decency, a sprinkling of regret, and an apology. Want an apology for me choosing to save my own life? No, V. An apology for fucking ending mine. Spent your whole life living on a whim, looking out for your ass and your ass alone. Got no right to lecture me, Silverhand. You want me to act like this? Us? Was just a big nothing burger. And we'll just drift off into sweet slumber. Except only one of us is waking up. I'm sorry, Johnny. Sorry you couldn't go out on your terms. The, the way you wanted. Shouldn't be like this, I know. You're just spewing words. Fine. Yeah. But I... I wanted you to hear him. Could have been solid-ass tombs in another life. Wondering why we weren't in this one. 
we were too much alike. Stubborn to a fault. Iron willed. Glued to our principles, you and I. Think that's what I respect most about you. Sticking to your guns. Good to hear. No telling what we'd have achieved if we really put our heads together. No pun intended. I've got readings spiking. Strong emotions. Let's do this. We want your brain burden free. Never know how stress might affect it. Think this is it, kiddo. Yes. So. Think we can find it in our heart to forgive each other? Yeah. I can. You? Think I can too. You are awake. Free, you in there? I fear they are approaching. You should not have a return! You will die here with me! I did not know I could trust you. The circumstances have changed. Take care, V. V, stay with me! You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Afterlife. See you there. Eyes, they're opening. I think she sees me now. V, can you hear me? Her voice is us. What was that? You? Me, doctors, probably some dreams. Doesn't matter, you're awake now. Reed, uh, say you seem different somehow. Even almost look like, uh, Stay at Langley long enough, it, uh, makes you its own. I'm no exception. I was told you got a new job, new duties, lots of them. Busy bear, no time for me. Who said that? When? Wise. In the AV. You weren't there. Right, that. Wasn't any reason for me to be there then. Now? Yeah. I felt I owed you this. How do you know when I'd wake? Doctor's estimates. You were supposed to be conscious by today. Tomorrow latest. They started bringing you up a few days ago. Controlled process. So, how's life? How's things? Ah, uh, paperwork, training recruits. Nothing to write home about. Not your style of work, sounds like. I can manage field work anyway. Not anymore. Need to ask, how's so me? Everything work out all right? I've been cut off from updates for a while now. 
She's alive. That's all I know. Pretty nice welcome. Just missing flowers and I get wild card. Given I'm here, guess things worked out all right, huh? Never that simple. Doc saved you. You're alive. Here in a big ass butt in there. Because there is one. Deep invasive work on your nervous system. Let's cut the Angram out safely. Telling me I wiped Johnny. Sacrificed him. For nothing. Not for nothing. You're alive. Your neurons can no longer handle most implants, chrome. Your brain can manage your personal link and simple code processors. But any use of a combat implant, well, it could kill you. I'm sorry, V, but the life you used to know is gone. There's, uh, one other thing. You were out for two years. It's 2079. <laughs> Imagine the future would look a little different. Joke. Shit, I'm impressed. What good would it do to rage at reality? Don't see any sense in it. I wish I could help you, V, but I can't. <laughs> Same shit. Always. Peeps wanting to help me. Never being able to. Are you, you, you all right? I need, I need, need some hair. <laughs> Legs are jelly, can barely stand. I've been laid up for two years, V. Damaged my nervous system. <laughs> Can hardly believe it. W why, why didn't they use nanobots? Neural matrix. Apparently, you reduced your cells' regenerative capacity. We tried everything. Really? Why? What? what about my chrome? Your implants have been deactivated. Didn't need to do it. Your survival depended on it. Need to get out of here and see you. When can I go back? Today, if that's your wish. But you should ask yourself... Cream, where's my stuff? V, listen to me. Your body, it ain't going back to what it was. And then sees a city where you just won't manage. Not anymore. Why the hell you care? We truly appreciate what you did for us. We can set you up with a job here at Langley. And what would I do? Be your assistant, errand rover? I know you're trying to help, but you damn well know that's not for me. I know I'd feel better seeing you off the street. This isn't my life, Reed. But it could be, given your old one is long gone. Don't know, someday maybe. Need to think. But now, going home to NC, definitely. 
Didn't escape death just to waste away here. <sighs> Up to you. Once you know where you're headed, call the nurse. And if you change your mind, you know where to find me. say this once. I'm in no mood for pranks. So if you don't... Hey there, Vic. V? Is it really you? What? Rate me off that fast? <laughs> Gotta admit, I knocked back a glass or two over your symbolic grave. But how are you... So, this Netrunner I met got me involved in this FIA op. They promised surgery, cure using the runner's tech in exchange. And it worked, but not without complications. A two-year coma, for one. God damn it. That's a chunk of life there. <laughs> yep. I mean... They saved me, new lease on life, but... Chrome's a no-go for me, no? Even simple muscle boosters. Is that what they told you? Quacks, I bet. They overlook something. I just know it. Come see me, V. I think I stand a chance of being normal again. My old self. Of course you do. I've got new tech. Does wonders. World changes, moves on, but man, Vic's ever the last reliable resort. Yeah. I'll see you, V. You know the address. How can I help you? Night City. Can I get a flight there? is ready and waiting. I'll come get you now. Back on your feet. It's nice to see that finally. Darn well know it is. I shan't deny that out of sheer courtesy. <clears throat> Sorry. Zoned out for a sec. That's quite all right. It is truly a pleasure to see you back and in good health. Though I cannot help but notice your rather vacant stare. Might I ask how you're feeling at the present moment? I don't know. Hasn't sunk in yet. Feels like just yesterday I was at home in these streets. Part of them. If it's any comfort to you, from where I sit, not as much has changed as you might think. I must merely make donations of tribute to somewhat different people. So, bribes. Whose palms you grease in these days? 
most often to corporate security. You might have noticed they're out in force, protecting new corporate locations. NCPD let that slide. In the event of any conflict, the weaker yield to the mighty. Some things never change. Man, been a while since I was last here. What else has changed? The most significant is Arasaka. I imagine you have been I shall tell you. And now, this week's scorching hot question, Yorinobu Arasaka, what happened? Joining us today, Masao Adams, author of Arasaka's biography, A Dragon Tamed. Glad to have you on the show. It's a pleasure to be here, Stan. An Arasaka spokesperson recently announced that Yorinobu has stepped down as CEO. True or big fat baloney? Well, Stan, we're talking about a man who once went into voluntary familial exile to join a nomad clan in direct conflict with his own father's agents. The idea that someone like him would remove themselves from the picture is just not plausible. So you're suggesting he had help, but then to what end? I think it's simple. Yorinobu deliberately tried to destroy Arasaka. His biography attests to that. Eventually, the board woke up and proceeded to excise this saboteur within. Oh, fascinating theory. One all you listeners can read all about in Masao Adams' latest book, The Prodigal Phoenix. Arasaka's on the back foot, huh? It appears so. Other corporations have wasted no time in attempting to fill the void. Well, Johnny, you got your wish. Arasaka's on the way out. Except it's like playing Whack-A-Corp. Hit one, three others pop up. Uh, are you talking to me? No, to myself. It doesn't matter. We have arrived. I shall await your return. Where are you going? One last thing, if I may. We all eventually run out of fuel, but that hardly means the journey wasn't pleasant. Hey, girl, hold up. Oh, come on. Do we gotta? You're not from around here, are you? Was born in this town. Can't be more from around here than that. Oh, really? Then why I never seen you over at Gabrielle's? Don't know no, Gabrielle. See that? I knew it. Welcome to our Zeta Tech Network Clinic. How may I help you? What is this? The chimes, incense, candles. Where are they? You're sure to find something of the sort in town. Not asking about that. Esoterica shop. That's what this was. Well, apparently, not anymore it isn't. Misty Olszewski. Is she here? No one by that name is employed here, no. Misty worked here. Two years back, gotta know something. It's a new branch. Sadly, I'd never met the previous owner. Here to see Victor. Mind if I go through? Do you have an appointment? Yeah, private one. Ah, right. I see a note right here. Please hurry in. The next patient is due to arrive soon.
Vic? What the hell are you wearing? Oh, back off, V. They made me wear this damn thing. Something about meeting safety standards. Doubt it, given I almost got a brain hemorrhage on seeing it. Ha! <laughs> You're making a habit of this. Rising from the dead. I actually thought I'd never see you again. Come on. It'll make me cry, Vic. What would be wrong with that? Anyway, got you a little something. They have this rule. No drinking anywhere in the clinic. I could get reprimanded. Ooh. Well, hang on a minute. Oh, same one Jack and I knocked back. Championship bout for the middleweight title. Malone vs. Kano. Remember it as if it was yesterday. Life was simpler somehow, wasn't it? Yeah, good times. Things changed, no denying it. Jackie's gone. So's Misty's shop. <laughs> and all her sense. <sighs> all right, come on, hop in the chair. So... Misty, what happened? She, uh, moved out not so long ago. Well, almost. It drops in occasionally to collect another box of straggling sundries. Visits are rarer and rarer, though. Okay. Let's get to this. <laughs> That's the attitude. So tell me, what's it like to be back among the living? It ain't easy, but can't call it all bad. I'm back. Indefinitely. Finally managed it. A hard-won victory's still a win. And you? Feeling like a winner these days, Vic? What are you trying to say, exactly? Your clinic. What happened? Seems... colder, somehow. Less... cozy. I don't suppose you're talking about the new AC. You know what I mean, Vic. What can I tell you? Corporate standards, guidelines, recommendations, you match them. End of story. But I dare say I managed to retain a smidge of individuality. The Zeta Tech thing. How'd you wind up caught in their web? There was pressure, some threats even. Uh, resisting change seemed senseless. Why? Did you decide you were incapable? There came a day I realized my losses could be higher if I put my foot down. Ask Misty what she thought before you signed? Of course I did. What'd she say? Well, she said a lot of things. She is the sensitive sort. Changes on pleasant ones happening all around her. She stopped feeling good here. And no wonder. I miss her. Hope things work out for her. Hope they work out for all of us. Think we could have chosen better? All of us? No. Hmm. No hesitation. If there'd been better options, we'd have picked them. Or convinced ourselves they weren't better at all. Vic, sensible as ever. And with achievable dreams. I never could settle on those. You'll learn. If you say so. Well, your core looks fine. 
good even. Let's take a look at your motor cortex. seen anything like this your cortex seems to have turned deaf to implant signals maybe reinstall the neural port firmware no no that did maybe switch to binary signaling that's a risk of shock life-threatening said you could do something big I... I was wrong. I'm sorry. Check again. V. You'll think of something, Vic. I know you will. Please. I did all I could. Don't have anywhere else to go. I'm sorry, V. So... It's over. Done. You've changed, yes. But you're alive. Look at me. I had to adapt, too. Still doing what I most love, though. I get it, Vic. I believe you. Stayed calm, level. Think I even envy you. Just not me. Something was taken from me, and I can't accept it. Attitude like that can only bring pain. Might be how it has to be. Vector, come on quick. I ran into trouble. Need surgery. It's <clears throat> Ah, are you running late? I can't now, Tyler. Drop in tomorrow. Drop in tomorrow? This is my friend. No affiliation to the firm. Come back later, please. It's important to me. <clears throat> you got it wrong, man. You're on contract. Tyler, friend of yours? please. Customer. I only have customers now. Vector? Hello? I'm waiting. <gasps> got a patient, Vic. Don't worry about me. Ugh, V. You can't know how sorry I am. Vector! Hey, swing by to see me anytime, yeah? Of course. Of course, I'll drop by. Close the door on your way out, okay? I need to look to Tyler's pressing problem here. Well, well. See that, Jimmy? She a corpo rat. Chill, man. Easy. Come on, hand over your scratch. Let's go. Not a good time, Chumba. Like I give a shit. Give me money. Know a few peeps here. They'd see this as a fucking problem. Some boss dog gonna scare me? F Padre instills a fear of God and man. <laughs> oh, rogue cooped on Las Haywood. I don't think so. Booyah! <coughs> 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 See? But you... 
what happened to you? <clears throat> Misty? Easy now. Are you in one piece? Damn. No chance I'd recognize you on the street. A jacket you're wearing. Jackie's? Yeah. You look almost the same. A bit wilted, maybe, but... Yeah. Time kind of stopped for me. What's up with you? Feeling okay? What are you even doing here? Heard you moved out and on. Pretty much. Just got some things to wrap up. But tell me, what's with you? I'm fine. Mostly. Just a bit busted up is all. Those guys must have been real good to knock you down like that. No, Misty. It wasn't them. It was me. I'm no good. Not anymore. Oh, is that the relics doing? I know I should be worried, but honestly, I'm just so glad to see you. Missed you so much, Misty. Though it feels like I saw you last Tuesday. Just two years, V. Blink of an eye for the universe. It must be hard for you, I know. But hardships pass, too. As all things. Not quite that simple, Misty. Everything's changed. <laughs> Fucking everything. You saw what happened. Can't even stand up to a couple of random dipsos. Where do I go from here? You'll learn to live like us regular folk. Avoid dark alleys, run when you hear gunfire. Not much more to it. <laughs> your bread and butter. Welcome to the world of the faces in the crowd, V. My ride will be here soon, but I still got a minute or two to talk. I really missed you, you know? Come by to see Victor before leaving? Vic said you weren't okay with the changes. Said you... parted ways. Yeah? Interesting way of putting it. Actually, I told him he'd gone soft, and I had no intention of following suit. Where are you going? Orbital Air Terminal. Then to Poland. To this really ancient forest there. Mm. Is that not to find yourself? Find some work, actually. I'll roam the wilderness. Ticket hikers for feeding candy to bison. I need a break from the city. And the crowds. Man. Of all people. Never thought I'd see you leaving Night City. Strange story, actually. You know what made me decide to leave? Take your cue from your cards? Nah, it wasn't the cards. Close, though. My fave herbal store burned down one day. Went there to buy some white sage and saw a charred mess instead. It was then I realized nothing's the same anymore. Jackie was gone, hewed up and ghosted. I decided to close the esoterica on the spot. I couldn't help other people find balance if I'd lost it myself. Sorry, Misty. Wish I could help you. I do. You have helped. By staying alive. <laughs> you know what, Misty? Thanks. Likewise, V. Misty. Can you just tell me what to do? Balanced or not. Always had something smart to say. Hmm. I can tell you how I bounced out of the last dark pit I was in. Can you? Mm-hmm. Turned out that an old friend of mine is still alive.
made the best choice of all of us. Leave it and see before it gets you good. Oh, it got me anyway. But nothing's tying you to this place, V. No reason you can't leave too. It's a faces in the crowd thing. Might be our one privilege. A face in the crowd. So, somewhere to start anew? Gonna go looking? Dunno, Misty. Feel like I'm in a dead end. Could turn on my heel. Choose a different path, I know, but... Not ready for that. Not yet. You can choose. Enjoy it. You're a free woman. Once you make up your mind, I really hope you find... joy. My ride will be here soon. Lock me to it? Again, I guess. Hope so. Oh, V, do you still have that pendant I gave you? I uh, must have misplaced it. Don't go looking for it. Doesn't matter anymore. Heard you back in town. I cannot deny I am pretty fucking impressed. The Hellman Exfiltration, Dogtown Clusterfuck, who knows what else. Yet somehow you're still alive and kicking. Though not quite as audaciously as before, I hear. Used to be quite a lot of talk about your exploits at the afterlife. Even had a few folks gunning for you to have your own concoction on the menu. Maybe we leave them secure in their convictions. Maybe that's better. Don't get me wrong, door's always open. You'll always be welcome at my club. But your legend, well, could wilt a bit more with each visit. Give it a think. Not as if we'd ever forget you, you know? I know you are in Night City and in good health. No more biochip in your head. Congratulations, V. Much time has passed. I did not know what to tell you. I needed the words of old samurai. He expressed my thoughts. Good, strong medicine is bitter to the mouth. When you disappeared, I and Hanako-sama confronted Yorinobu. His allies, 
We tried to capture Arasaka Tower. We could not. They were strong. Hanako-sama is dead. I am called her murderer. I have been hiding for two years. My life is now the trash heap where I found you. I wish for you to know this. You are very strong medicine, he. I look back at times and what happened. Think about you, Songbird. We did right, that I know. Why do I keep asking myself if I could have done things differently? You saw what she's capable of. I had to stop her. And maybe, maybe punish myself. Is that it? It fucking hurts, but it should hurt, shouldn't it? Avi, it didn't quite work out in our last talk, huh? What do you say to giving it another try? We'll drink some beers, watch a legacy fight. Downtime to look back upon fondly in our new lives. They're looking to redo the clinic. Sending me off to Frisco of all places. <sighs> a new beginning for everybody, I guess. Though I have to say some proper closure could make it all easier to bear. It would, for me at least. You think you'd be up for that? 